live every week on Free Sports. It's 2020 time, West Indies taking on England here in Port of Spain, Trinidad, the one and only 2020 match on this England tour of the Caribbean. We've got the visitor here as well, the trophy that goes to the winner of the 2020 World Cup. That World Cup will take place in England over the course of the English summer from early June. We anticipate a sellout crowd here at the Queen's Park Oval, lots of atmosphere, lots of excitement, lots of music. And we expect a lot of fours and sixes too. Right, so the teams are ready to start off here. And uh, Fazir Mohammed is alongside me at the moment. We'll be hearing from Faz in a little while from now. Welcome, Fazir. What we will do, first of all, however, is get some news of the toss with Nasser Hussain and Tony Kosia. We're here for the toss of the first and only 2020 international here between the West Indies and England. First of all, it is my very great pleasure to introduce the Digicel representative who will pass over the coin to be tossed. She is Gabrielle Walcott, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, the runner-up for Miss World. She's also a representative of Digicel and helps with the Just Because charity. We have the two captains, Dennis Ramdin of the West Indies and Andrew Strauss of England, and the match referee who is new and who has played here in the West Indies before for India, Jabagal Srinath. Now, Gabriel, if I can ask you to pass the coin over, please, to Dinesh. And we go with a toss. Heads of the call, and it's tails. Well, Dinesh, what are you going to do? And first of all, congratulations on being appointed the captain of the team. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, I think we're going to have a bowl on this first. What's the reason for having a bowl first? I think uh, we just want to see what's going on with the pitch. Uh, we have the batting lineup that is capable of chasing out anything that England got. But of course you've come from five test matches which are completely different to 2020. How do you adjust? Yeah, most definitely. I think we played well in the uh, test match. Now it's ODI. Um, the guys are really keen up and ready to go. Um, Pollard is back, um, doing bravo, exciting players. So hopefully we can go out there and execute. But of course it's all about entertainment. You've got a big crowd and they're looking forward to another good performance from the West Indies. Yeah, we have the home support. Um, all the guys are really keyed up. We're going out there, enjoy ourselves and give 100%. And uh, as you mentioned, Paula, are there a few others who are in the side? Chris Gale is not here, of course. Yeah, he's not there. Um, that's a blow for us. But I said we have players who will step up to the table. Um, young Fletcher is back, Dwayne is back, and Darren Stammy. So hopefully we can go out there and give out a good show. Well, Danish, all the best to you and the team. Andrew, you're having a bat. Is that a problem? Uh, no, it's not really. Um, this game's not a bad game to get runs on the board and then defend them and use pressure as a way of taking wickets as well. So. Uh, it's, it's not a problem really. We're not entirely sure how the wicket's going to play, so uh, it's going to be up to the guys at the top of the order to, to adapt their games according to how the wicket plays. Team news? Uh, team news, um, Steve Davis is going to open the batting with Ravi Bopara, um, and Amjad Khan, Chris Bro uh, Stuart Broad and James Anderson are going to be our seamers, um, with Gareth Batty playing as a spinner. Why uh, Davies and not Pryor? Um, just see uh, Steve as a, a good option at the top of the order. Um, he's impressed in the net, so we need to have a look at him. Um, he, he did a very good job for Worcester last season. Um, Matt Pryor we see playing a little bit more as a middle order player, um, and obviously he's played very well this, uh, this series in the test matches, so you know, he's going to come into consideration for the one days. Uh, but you know, Steve Davis is an exciting prospect. Um, he's a very clean striker of the ball, and hopefully he can get us off to a good start. And without Flintoff, Mascarenas gives you some six-hitting capabilities down the order. Yeah, absolutely. Dimi played brilliantly in the warm-up game. Um, he clears the rope well, and he bowls some useful medium paces as well. So, you know, 2020 is a, a game designed for the likes of Dimi Mascarenas, and I'm hoping that he can have a real uh, input in the game today. How much 2020 captaincy have you done, and what number will you bat? Um, well, you've always got to be a bit flexible with the batting order, but at the moment I'm looking to bat at six. Um, 
I captained Middlesex in the first couple of years of 2020. That seems like quite a long time ago now, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you've got to think on your feet as a captain um, and uh, make decisions quickly um, and make sure people know exactly what you expect of them. And uh, if we do that, we'll give ourselves a good chance of winning the game. Good luck today. Cheers. Thanks, Nas. Thank you. It's hot. It's humid. It's overcast here at the Queen's Park Oval for the first ever 2020 International at the Queen's Park Oval. The West Indies have won the toss. Dennis Ramden has decided that he'll bowl. That they will. Fazir Mohamed is still alongside me. Your thoughts, Fazir, on the West Indies team? Well, the team that will be looking to take the momentum from the Test Series with them. Ramner is sour, won lots of runs. Chandapal, solid as ever. Dwayne Bravo, he's the talisman for the West Indies team. Andre Fletcher in the Superstars team for Stanford. He'll be looking to get the West Indies off to a good start. And then lower down the order, Danish Ramdin, the responsibility of captaincy, how we respond to that will be interesting. Karen Pollard, Darren Sammy, all very talented cricketers. Lionel Baker to show things up with the ball. And for England, that name Davies at the top of the order. No Matt Pryor in their team, a talented Ravi, Wopara, Paul Collingwood, lots of runs. And Kevin Peterson, I think he'll be a key man for England. Andrew Strauss batting a lot lower down the order, but Mascarenas does give it a good heave towards the end of the innings. James Anderson, Amjad Khan will be interesting to see how he goes, and Stuart Broad with Garrett Batty. Right, you heard both captains say they're not sure how this pitch will play. Let's find out if Nasser Hussain has any thoughts on that. Well, the 2020 pitch is one strip down from the test match strip, and it looks exactly the same. There are plenty of cracks. If you have a look down, there's even more cracks here and it is very, very dry. So no different at all from the test match strip. I expect the bowlers to bowl back of the length, take pace off the ball, lots of cutters. It's going to be slow, it's going to be low and pace on the ball is going to be the key for the batsman. Pace off the ball for the bowlers. On this strip, I would be asking as captain the bowlers to bowl very straight and back of the length. No drive balls at all. Target the stumps, top of the stumps, hit the deck hard. Lots of cutters. As a batsman on this surface, what you're looking for is that extra pace. Someone like Fidel Edwards, first up, might offer up a little bit of width to hit both sides. But if you bowl straight and back of the length, you're going to be hard to get away. Spinners also on here, the absolute key. I think Suleiman Ben will bowl very well on here because he's a very difficult man to sweep because of his variations. Remember Kevin Peterson starts right-handed, plays all the sweep shots, sometimes he turns around left-handed. But again, Suleiman Ben, that's going to be very, very difficult because of the pace he puts on the ball. Lots of variations in pace. The key for me is going to be the England batting. Since Marcus Triscothic, they have struggled to hit the ball in the air over the field like Fletcher does, Andre Fletcher does for the West Indies. So will the likes of Davies, who's making his debut, Ravi Bopara at the top of the order, have it in them to go aerial. English players like pace on the ball, lots of timing, lots of pretty shots, but in 2020 you have to get the ball in the air and get it hit for four. Can England do that? Yeah, that's what I was saying, saying you have to get it in the air. One man who will get it in the air may even have something to do with bowling. Dwayne Bravo's back and David Lloyd spoke to him a little earlier on. Dwayne, thanks for joining us and I'm sure you're glad to be back and raring to go. Yeah, most definitely. I'm happy and very excited and looking forward to this game here yeah, this afternoon. Um, it's been a while since I've played international cricket and as I rightly said, I'm very happy to be a part of the team here today and looking forward to the game. Tell us exactly what has been the problem. Um, I got an injury that I picked up like two years ago and been playing with it like that. Uh, it's in my left ankle, my ligament. I've been tearing completely and I've done a surgery to actually um, get it back, back in place and, and at this point in time I'm feeling a lot stronger, my ankle feels good. I'm really looking to test it out. I play a couple of games and it's been fine, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you, what has been your preparation for this game? Yeah, I play uh, like three club games before, so um, I got good scores with the bat and also with the ball. I've been a bit of run around here during the test match and I feel good and uh, my confidence is there. I'm very excited and just eager and looking forward for the game. Yeah, your team's been doing well, hasn't it? Yeah, not too bad. Um, we just hope to keep the momentum going from the test match. Um, we are looking to play positive cricket and try to win this one to, to ensure that we set the tone for the remainder of the one this series. And what about the atmosphere here? This is your home ground, isn't it? Yeah, it's my home ground and I, when I say home, it's my home ground. I actually grew up in this, in this club, Queen's Park Cricket Club. I've been here since I'm nine years old, so it is my home ground. And I'm, I'm playing in Trinidad and Tobago, it's always nice. So there are a lot of people uh, 
more carnival type atmosphere and um, all of us uh, are very used to it and it's going to be a pack house today and we are looking forward to the game. Dwayne Bravo right about that packed house. Fazir Mohamed quickly, can the West Indies do it without Chris Gale? Yes, they can because the momentum is with them. They enjoy this shorter form of the game. It's very exciting. It's right up their alley. Thank you very much for your thoughts. In the commentary box first up, David Lloyd with Nasser Hussein. Thanks, Ian Bishop. At times, the Test Series was very, very slow. Played on slow pitches. Difficult Test Series. This is all about action. This is about fours and sixes. About the pace of Fidel Edwards and the talent of Ravi Bopara. So it'll be Edwards first up. Down the leg side and Bopara just helps it on his way. First ball four. Welcome to the Caribbean, David Lloyd. Well, I'm looking forward to this, Nasset. Good afternoon to everybody around the world from Trinidad from Port of Spain. Sultry day, as you'd expect, quite a cloudy day. I think we're in for a, a cracking game here. I spoke to Andy Flower before the match and said it was vitally important for England to start winning a cricket match. Full house. A little bit of swing from Fidel Edwards. He's the one bowler that will provide pace. There you go, he's up at 87 miles an hour. And England might like that pace on the ball. Slow, low pitch, and a little bit of swing. Well, it's interesting watching your pitch report and saying that you've got to bowl straight, and especially at this sort of pace, high 80s, 90 miles an hour. It only needs a tickle if you're offline, the ball will race away for four. It's a shootout, 2020 shootout. 11th different opening combination for England in 15 2020 internationals. this one go really haven't replaced someone like Marcus Triscothic who had the capability of hitting the ball in the air Opara very talented young man and Davies making his debut an exceptional pro 40 season last year 2020 stats there he's averaging 16 the strike rates good the best of 30 surprise selection Matt Pryor played so well on this ground man of the match Replaced. Well, you can tell that England fancy him. We talk about England's record, it's very modest in 2020 cricket, and they're having a look see whether Davies is the man to open the innings. World Cup 2020 coming up in 2009. Waited a long time for this moment. First ball for England. And Edwards knows it. Extended follow through from uh, Fidel Edwards. He gets right up to the young lad. Be really difficult for Davies. Believe me, Bumble, when you first face Fidel, he is so tricky because of his action. You could see Davies there with his eyes trying to pick up where the ball comes from. He's not your orthodox England bowler, tall, upright. He's low, his arm comes from nowhere. And Davies is going to have to watch the ball very, very carefully. Shot, he's away. And it's gone for four. Well, you feel a lot better now. Bat on ball, eased it through the offside. He gets in a good position to play this shot. All the nerves will be jangling in there. Let's find the middle of the bat. He does. Good shot, this. Way back in his crease. Right the way back. Gives himself room. Nine from the first over. England nine without loss. Well, it's different than Test match cricket. You've got a new 22-year-old left-handed opening batsman for England, Stephen Davies. Moves away to the leg side against Fidel Edwards. 87 miles an hour to hit through the offside. Nine on the board. 
sure there's going to be some fun here. Great atmosphere, sell out 19,000. Quiet in that last over, the two boundaries. Dinesh Ramdin, the local boy, captaining the West Indies for the first time. Bravo back, local boy, so plenty of local interest. Side that just won the Test Series, lots of talent there. England off to a good start in the first over. A little bit of bounce, this pitch again very, very cracked. Hit the surface hard, no floaty drives at all. Well, it's interesting when Ramdin at the toss said that we'll just chase anything, whatever England get, we'll chase anything, so he's confident in this pitch. Might just get a little bit of new ball bounce, but I shouldn't think it'll last forever. And only 20 overs, of course, you shouldn't get any reverse swing. Timed well. Third man should cut it off. Found a pull, does well. Great anticipation for this game. Just the one 2020 match in the one day series. Five one day internationals. Two in Guyana, two in Barbados, one in St. Lucia. Science Davies likes with very much an offside player. West Indies will have to be straight. That's not straight, that's four. Beautiful timing. The ball races away through the offside. You mentioned in that pitch report, and sometimes it can sound easy, but if you're a touch wide, a little bit wide, platter. Around the wicket, an option to try and tuck up the left hander. Davies at the moment, two boundaries in the same spot, and that's why Ramdin moving a man in, three men in the covers now. Backward point, cover point, extra cover. So no Chris Gale for the West Indies. Expect to be back at some stage in the one day as this is such a tall order for Dinesh Ramdin to captain the side, be the wicket keeper. It can be mayhem out there. Edged. I think he bowled that from about 23 yards. And a slower ball, he was way back there. Well, he has to ball it from in front of the umpire, that's one thing that he must do. He gets in front of the umpire, he's a 24-yarder. All the tricks coming out way back, just puts the batsman off his timing. Watch the running where Bopara gets the single. 18 for none. The owner of this Apple Watch has taken a hard fall and is not responding to their watch. The emergency location is latitude 47.7, longitude minus 117.5 with an estimated search radius of 41 meters. This message will repeat in 5 seconds. today but what's this simply cook simply cook what though simply cook japanese seared steak simply cook cuban prawn pasta simply cook chicken makani just grab the flavor pots and add a few of your own fresh ingredients to cook incredible meals from scratch in just 20 minutes oh what a triumph tonight let's simply cook Walk tall, walk tall, 
walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about me high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up. Start your journey to a better credit score with a Vanquist credit card. The world right walk tall the with Vanquist. So we really put our hearts and souls into making this place our own, you know. It's everything. It's home. But it's just bricks and mortar at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, just bricks and mortar. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Just look at that frolicking space. Get searching now on Zoopla. Suarez is away from Dia Cavi and Suarez can put them in finish. Get his dummies the first shot. Griezmann with the shot. Sam, what a finish! What a strike from Hugo Duro. Let's go versus Valencia. Live Saturday on La Liga TV. Visit premiersports.com to subscribe. start by England, nine and over. West Indies have been a little bit wide, they prefer to bowl to the right-handed Bopara. Flicked away, maybe they wouldn't prefer to bowl to him. Just a flick of the wrist, it's four. Well, that's a terrific shot from Bopara. The ball of full length, it's on the stumps. Whipped away through, forward a square. Confident shot, that is such a confident shot. The shuffle in the crease. 4-4 four, four is all ready for England. A good contest in the test match at Barbados, Edwards and Bopara. Edwards hit Bopara and then Bopara pulled in for six. You wouldn't expect too many bounces here. The odd one, maybe. That's a good length, slip does well. Well, he's ticking already, Fidel Edwards. You see him gesturing for the ball. As soon as it goes behind, outside edge through to Sarwan. Now, I thought we got four umpires for this match. I've been away a long time. I thought it was Clyde Duncan, Norman and Malcolm, but it's two different people. Clyde Duncan and Norman Malcolm. Very interesting listening to Andrew Strauss at, at the toss. We talked about Davies. Well, we're having a look see. England striving to find a winning formula, a system, and it is pretty simple, is this? If you bat first, pile them on. Pretty simple for a coach. It, it really is. And the captain. Play some shots. Loads of fours, loads of sixes, don't get out. I just wonder, Nasser, if any of the West Indies have seen too much of Stephen Davis. He makes his debut for England. I'm just trying to rack my brains if any of the boys have been around in county cricket, know much about him. You're saying that he's an offside player. Well, Chandapal played a bit for Durham, so he'd have seen a bit. Footage. There's always footage around. People behind the scenes, it gets footage from England, so they'll know where he hits the ball, they'll know by now, after 2.4 overs, ball straight because he likes cover point, fine legs up though, got to get it right, that's driven, it's well stopped by Sammy at extra cover. Well of course a vital part of 2020 cricket, excellence in the field, support the bowler, 
not seen too much of Darren Sammy for a while. Comes back into the team. Very strong there, Bopara. There is a man in the deep. 25 for none. So a good start by England. Four boundaries in 25 without loss. Bopara's 13. Davies is 12. Peterson in next. Strauss floating, I would say. You might see Mascarenas go ahead of Strauss. Batty comes into the team instead of Swan. Plenty of batting there. Good to see Mascarenas back. Hitting option down the order in those last few overs. Rammed in hard work trying to work out where to get his fielders. Still in the first six overs. Restrictions apply. Got a man leg side for Bopara. That's his strength. Bold him straight as you want. Middle stamp gone. Full straight. You miss. I hit. Expansive shot from Rabbi Bopara. Lionel Baker gets it exactly right. It's the top of off stump. Maybe middle stump. The pirate is on his way. England a one down. Which stump did he hit? Middle for me. Middle. Out of the ground. Full pint. Thirteen for Papara. Twenty-five for one. Expensive 2020 player in world cricket arrives at the crease. Kevin Peterson, strike rate of 143.6. He is box office 100 on this ground in a test match. Second time round, playing in one day fashion. No flint off, but Peterson's there. The umpire takes his bat off him. <laughs> Bangs the stumps in with the bottom of his bat. Straight again. West Indies have learned in three overs they've worked out the pitch. Full, hit the deck hard, straight. Bopara, man on the leg side, so he tries to go offside. Top of the stumps, perfect. Well, he's slightly quicker than I expected, Lionel Baker. It's a perfect delivery, top of middle stump. 87 miles an hour, that's not slow. They always go for that delivery with Peterson. He goes a long way across. Good work in the deep. Now, this is interesting also that the new man, Davies, has got Peterson at the other end, box office superstar. Now, it shouldn't phase him, just play your own game. What's your name again? Deliberate as he moves across into his stumps, Stephen Davies. 
looks to get across to the offside. Well, I'm going to ask you a question, coach. Now they're bowling straight, the West Indies. This is when England struggle. Straight stump to stump bowling, the field's up, difficult to time the ball, the shine's gone off the ball, the aerial option. What is it about hitting the ball in the air? Is it just a power thing? I think there's a lot of confidence in it as well. All sorts of theories about England players not prepared to go over the top. It may be through playing in England in county cricket, there's a bit of nibble in the pitch and they don't really fancy that as an option, but on pitches like this, there's not a blade of grass out there, it's unbelievably dry. Just think back to India, they'd be going over the top. Sehwag, Yuvraj, Gale, Fletcher. Did, did you hear Sehwag the other day? He said he was impossible to bowl up. <laughs> Edged, just short of extra, direct hit, could be close, Peterson's home. 28 for one. Well, this will be the big wicket, Kevin Peterson. Advances down the pitch and gets a, a thick outside edge. England still get through for a single. Yeah, they'll need to get to know each other. Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites hosting domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites hosting domains. I own us. Oh, what a day. What's this? Simply cook? Simply cook what, though? Simply cook Japanese seared steak. Simply cook Cuban prawn pasta. Simply cook chicken makani. Just grab the flavour pots and add a few of your own fresh ingredients to cook incredible meals from scratch in just 20 minutes. Oh, what a triumph. Tonight, let's simply cook. Walk tall, walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about knee high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up. Start your journey to a better credit score with a Vanquist credit card. The world right walk tall the with Vanquist. Yeah, we love it here. Don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, we get on really well with the Thompsons next door. They're friends for life. Sorry, guys. Have you seen that? <laughs> Having said that, they're pretty annoying, really. What? Nothing. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Oh, horses for neighbours. Get searching now on Zoopla. And Sammy oh, brilliantly in the Superstars game in Antigua. Perfect for these conditions. Tall lad hit the deck straight. Dominantly a one day player. He's a genuine all rounder. Good fielder. Bravo will bowl well on here. Mascarenas will bowl well on here. Lots of cutters. <laughs> See that? Straight, no bounce. Well, he starts with a slowy, 67 miles an hour. Seven of this West Indies team were in the Superstars outfit. You can really make that eight with Chris Gale, he would be a shoe in if he wasn't injured. And they did play brilliantly in that. It looks as if he knows what he's about, Darren Sammy. Changing the field immediately, fine leg inside the circle, mid on back. Sammy did get Peterson in that Superstars game in Antigua, the 2024 $20 million game. 
bold. Peterson was all round his crease. Goes again. Two cutters in two. You just get the impression that he's itching to whack it. Kevin Peterson, itching. Mid-ons deep. Plenty of men in the ring on the offside. Flicked away, nicely played. Gets past the short fine leg, goes for four. I also think that Kevin Peterson rem remembers his dismissal in the Superstars game. Let me stood outside of his crease, advances down. Yeah, I know you got me before, you won't do it again. Another cutter, running his fingers down the side of the ball. Peterson wants two, he'll have to hurry. Oh, Simmons took his time, he took forever to decide which end to throw. Get rid of ball quickly. Well, he is an athlete, Kevin Peterson. Oh, for such a big man, he moves quickly. Works really hard at his fitness, works hard at his game. If you're England, if you're an England supporter, You'll be thinking about 15 overs of him. No Andrew Flint off in this game. He's around, he's at the ground. All the talk is that he may miss the first two, maybe three one-day internationals. There he is, the big lad. Two big lads. <laughs> like that from Peterson, hit and go. He finds the fielder, hits it straight to the fielder, but just gets a single. His stumps could be tight. He's home. But he's six for one after five. Well, trying something different this time. Davies looking to go over the leg side, just about in Peterson. Open to debate, but look how he gets across the off stump to go over the leg side. Yeah, the only issue there, Bumble, is that you don't go too far across. When you go across your stump, some players go that extra stump too far, but Para did that slightly. Yeah, we see with the bow par, he shows all his stumps just a little bit too far, and then you're striving to reach the ball. Again, with Davies moving across, it's just an inch or two to offer up some room. Now this lad can play. He's a real talent, this form of the game, great self-belief understanding of one day cricket slower balls yorkers man you want to the death he's got great temperament he's back bravo eight months out of the game ankle surgery home turf home ground in fact spoke affectionately about playing here since he was nine Don't want to be wider than that. The crowd are up for Bravo. Missed out there, Davies. Yeah, he's one of their own. Great crowd in once again. Wonderful atmosphere at the ground. Very warm day out there, quite sultry. Lovely ground. Terrific ground. Bravo has a superb slower ball at the back of his hand. Pulled away. He's got hold of that. Third boundary for Davies. Well, he's working his options out, is Stephen Davies. England saying, Andrew Strauss saying, we need to have a look. 
Yeah, he bats way back in his crease. He really uses the depth in his crease, whereas Peterson's out in front. Davies is way back, both feet inside the crease. Gives himself room. There again, just an example of too much room. Flayed it away to third man. Just neither reaches third man. Thick outside edge. Dwayne Barber comes back into the team. He's had two club matches, scored hundreds in both, a 2020 match and a one-day international. I suppose he probably thinks that his batting will take care of itself, but coming back after an ankle injury, ankle surgery, you need to get back into confidence. Short ball pulled away, not timed. Spin's going to be the key on here. One front-line spinner, Suleiman Ben. One front-line spinner for England, Batty. Might have been tempted to play Rashid. On this surface, pace off the ball. That man will be difficult with his variations. Well, the boundary's 70 yards all the way around. Gareth Batty comes into this team. Graham Swan has gone back home, surgery on his elbow. England must have thought either which spinner or two spinners had a Rashid misses out. That's away, not time this time, it's gone in the air. Has it got enough on it? Yes, it has. The outfield's quick. A good over for England. 11 from it, 47 for one. Well, this is just a chip, nothing more. Outfield certainly quick enough. You can tell that that's a thick outside edge. The ball pitches, bounces and runs away. Seven fours for England, no sixes. Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites, hosting, domains. I own us. The way you slip and slide, the way you seek and hide, the way you shake your head, the way you run upstairs. UK's number one clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. My car slipped and there's water getting in the car. Can you get out, ma'am? No. Are you by yourself? Yes. It's getting deeper. It's getting deeper? 
Get me to my neck. Try to keep your head above water, okay? Okay. There's people on the way to you. Thank you. rate takes England up to 157. The pitch would say about 160 is a good score. I think with the outfield you probably need more than that. 170 plus because of the quick outfield. Here he is. Restrictions gone after six overs, so spin comes on. Very difficult man to sweep hard because of his variations in pace. Will Peterson risk the big slog sweep or even the switch hit? I suppose height as well for the sweep shot. You just get a natural bounce. Yeah, what they do, I think, or what they'll try and do is play that paddle. There's no one on the paddle sweep, and with the pace, Peterson might just get down and paddle it around. Just like that. Ramdin will have to have a man for the paddle. Peterson will get to a ball otherwise. Yeah, what you're saying is just a gentle touch and use the pace of the left arm spinner and just ease the ball round rather than hit it hard. Yeah, because you can move, even if it's the dart, your bat's there to move. Whereas the big shot you can't change, field does change, man goes 45. No mid-wicket. It's a cracking shot, he's only going to get one for it. Such a good player of spin. 50 comes up. You wouldn't captain a 2020 side, would you? No. It must be difficult to, for a wicket keeper to come into captaincy with a 2020. I just think back to Paul Collingwood. He finished up with not enough fielders in the circle. On his first game at the Oval, chaos. First game as captain. Got to get the right players in the right positions, right number of men in, get your overs right. Bowlers looking at you, what do I do next? Very difficult to start off as captain. Oh. There's spin. Surprise, they've only played one spinner both sides. West Indies will miss Chris Gale. Spin the absolute key on here. Because there's no grass and it's unbelievably dry, such a slow delivery there. Oh! That's the dart. The faster ball, 70 miles an hour, and it's gone for four. Well, he jams this down to backstop. Nutmegs the wicket keeper. Oh! Well, you talk about these variations from Suleiman Bent. And it's variation of pace. And being so tall, he's never going to flight the ball. He's never going to get right in the air. Flicked away. 55 for one after seven. Anybody? There are the variations. 70 miles an hour from a left arm spinner down to 54 the third delivery Good start from England, they're 55 for one after seven. Talking through the next seven overs, Fazir Mohamed is with Ian Bishop. Yeah, full house here at the Queen's Park Oval, lots of excitement, lots of atmosphere. Could not get a ticket here in the two days prior to this match to be found anywhere. 
Knocked him over, Dwayne Bravo. He's come across the stumps too far and paid the full penalty. Davies, he's done it before, but Bravo right him the money and they go wild in the stands. Well, they were celebrating even before a ball was bowled. They'll be really dancing in the stands now. The local boy has done it on his comeback, going too far across, uh, just brushing the pad on the way to the off stump, and there he takes off again. Steve Davies' debut innings in international cricket is over. One for 27 is 55 for two in over number eight. Yeah, the end of the day for Steve Davies, certainly with the bat. 55 for two, the run rate 7.67 at the moment. 27 came off 21 deliveries and in comes away sharp. Unconventional sort of player who will relish this opportunity. Can be infuriating to bowl at. But we'll have to adapt to a slow pitch here at the Queen's Park Oval. He's been the man that uh, England are prepared to give a long run in the, the test series away Shah. Seems to put a lot of pressure on himself. He strikes me as an intense sort of player, a lot of little animations and little movements of the head, the arms, the bat, grips the bat really, really firmly. Nice little off cutter from Dwayne Bravo. He's got all the skills and he's got control over them for Zaire Mohammed, but he's been out of it for eight months. He's picked up his first wicket back in international cricket. But he has all the variations. Uh, he's never faced by any sort of challenge. Uh, he would have relished this. He would have been looking forward to this moment for a long, long time. He's been frustrated being out of the action. He wants to get back. He wants to be with the West Indies set up again. This is almost a football crowd here at Queen's Park Oval. Uh, it is the sort of atmosphere that you would normally associate with a World Cup football qualifier because this venue has hosted those games, packed houses, uh, for a number of years. And uh, it's that sort of boisterous sort of atmosphere. Alim Dar, elite umpire, able to relax. Solitary man appealing, Dwayne Bravo. Not supported by Dinesh Ramdin or any of the other close fielders. Shah was across his stumps. Going a long way across. Height of factor. No referrals this time around. mid on has dropped to long one. Really? Good bouncer, a bit too much, too much effort. Steepling high over Dinesh Ramdin. Shows that there's some juice on this surface. He apologizes to Dinesh Ramdin, but that one really took off. And the West Indies uh, wicketkeeper tipping it over the crossbar. back what I said about a slow pitch difficult job for Dinesh Ramdin just starting to find a steady footing in West Indy in the team now has been asked to do captaincy in a 2020 match and uh, Shah gets off the mark there's barely time to think you think about the limited over version of the game but then 2020 stuff the first time is being played here at Queen's Park Oval on the the day when test cricket started 132 years ago it's a very different atmosphere now you witnessed the initial atmosphere did you 120 odd years ago the steady steady
62 for two after eight. That's what my mama told me when I was about me high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up. Start your journey to a better credit score with a Vanquist Walk credit card. The world right Walk till with Vanquist. Oh, what a day. What's this? Simply cook? Simply cook what, though? Simply cook Japanese seared steak. Simply cook Cuban prawn pasta. Simply cook chicken makani. Just grab the flavour pots and add a few of your own fresh ingredients to cook incredible meals from scratch in just 20 minutes. Oh, what a triumph. Tonight, let's simply cook. There's a revolution happening. A different way to sell your home. All across the country, people are discovering how it feels when you sell your home for free. Really, truly free. With over a billion pounds of property sold in the last year, we're rated excellent from over 15,000 reviews on Trustpilot. Find out how you can sell your home for free at strike.co.uk. Strike. Feel free. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. That's what I told my son. He's never been one for uni. The great outdoors is more his thing. So when I started saving, I spoke to Skipton Building Society. Their support helped get my money in a good place. So I had enough to help him be his own boss. This rate, they're going pretty well, but they'll want to accelerate. The pitch might not be coming on as well as they would like, but they've got to keep pushing along England. I think one of the big questions is, not certainly from England's point of view, but with the absence of Chris Gale, do the West Indies possess the firepower in the batting? a bit too wide loves the sweep shot Kevin Peterson What's got to really force the pace of Suleiman Ben he's almost warming up for these 20 for this 2020 showdown with that Blitzkrieg 100 on the last day of the test series. Just seems to be struggling a bit. Let's uh, watch him following through there. Coming to the non-striker's end. Yeah. The West Indies will like this. Ben has come on immediately. Put a break on the scoring. Shah seems to be sometimes caught up in a world of his own. The dry season is finally starting here in Trinidad and Tobago, but it's almost drying up as well for England in the last few overs. Puts a lot of effort into his shots away, Shah. Single so far in this over. Bit of cloud about.
Well, the finger's gone up after a protracted appeal from Suleiman Ben. Norman Malcolm belatedly raised the finger, and Peterson is on his way. Well, as we said, there are no referrals for this match, for these fixtures. Line decisions only. The umpire made the decision there. Oh, that's a clearly a decision where umpire Norman Malcolm would not like to see that again. Kevin Peterson will feel very, very unlucky. He's been given out. LBW for 12, a key dismissal. 66 for three after nine. Paul Collingwood replaces Kevin Peterson after a, a bit of a blooper by umpire Norman Malcolm. Yeah, disappointing we get to lose in that manner, regardless of who the batsman is, but much more so the importance that Kevin Peterson plays in this team. Paul Collingwood, maybe not possessing the same power, but in his own inimitable fashion, will be hoping to string a partnership together in, at a decent pace. Sulim and Ben, there were just two people appealing. Ben and I think the guy had short fine leg. Ramdin did not even appeal. And yet still Malcolm found it after a prolonged delay to raise the finger. Sulim and Ben will say, you don't ask, you don't get. Well, you probably didn't even expect to get this one. Well, if Kevin Peterson could, he would ask for the review, but Norman Malcolm may be feeling the pressure himself. Well, a poor decision by the Jamaican official. He had hit the left pad first and then ricocheted onto the back leg, which, if you're not watching closely, obviously where Norman Malcolm wasn't, then it may have given the impression it would have gone on to leg stump, but it wasn't. It hit the front pad outside the line. Ramden doing the right thing, he's got mid-on and mid-off up. He's got men stopping the single here, forcing Collingwood to try to hit the ball through over the infield. So full of life doing Bravo. Energy, enthusiasm, the fans are around the ground, warm to him whenever and wherever he plays. Good effort. Darren Sami, live wire in the field. Collingwood will know all about that in that position at backward point. Coming through very, very quickly. Good bounce, good movement, good athlete. Many questioned why he wasn't given a chance in the Test Series. Well, he's trying to make amends here. The young man from St. Lucia. It's always a critical phase of the 2020 match when the first six overs have gone and the restrictions are elapsed. Sometimes there can be a quiet period when one or two wickets go down and that's what England are finding here, that the boundaries suddenly have dried up. A couple of key wickets going down, field spread initially after the first six overs, Bravo's variations once again showing his very good control, even though he's been out of the game for eight months. He's got so much experience already, Dwayne Bravo, and he's making that count. With there with Clyde Duncan. That's such an athlete. Plays club cricket. He's always involved in domestic cricket competitions. He, he likes to be involved in the action. He loves the game. Wants to be a part of the action all the time. And this is his atmosphere. A wonderful vista of the Queen's Park Oval.
That is a lovely shot. Will it go to the boundary? Yes, it does. He's taken that from way outside the off stump. 73 for three at the halfway mark. Nice shot, nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy job pass. Websites, hosting, domains. I own us. The way you slip and slide, the way you seek and hide, the way you shake your head, the way you run upstairs. UK's number one clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. The owner of this Apple Watch has taken a hard fall and is not responding to their watch. The emergency location is latitude 47.7, longitude minus 117.5 with an estimated search radius of 41 meters. This message will repeat in 5 seconds. There's the first boundary since the seventh over of the innings. Pick the variation beautifully. Paul Collingwood didn't play in the last match. A warm-up fixture yesterday. losing some momentum despite that boundary in the last over yep. could be a sharp again bravo sprinting onto that one why shall was run out in the test match and Bravo almost did the trick again. Very, very quick and uh, he would have been gone. Hasn't learned his lessons yet, Oisha. Not to that man. Ball is for two, Lendell Simmons is after it, Shah is coming back, no he's not. Athleticism and a strong arm, such a key. You look at the leg side field, there's just one fielder saving a single leg side, three boundary riders. Right of screen, that man at a short, fine leg position, Fidel Edwards. So there's singles available leg side, but do well to get a boundary. Oh. Maybe this is one of the ways now. Is it going to be wides? Try to follow O.A. Shah Suleiman Ben, but overcompensated. It really is about concentrating on doing your bit and not worrying sometimes about where, what the batsman is doing, going all over the place, backing away to leg and falling for it there, Suleiman Ben. Ramdin had no chance. I'm sure he didn't know where that was going. Hardly any one of us did.
He really launches into his strokes. enthusiastic they've come from all parts of the country for this one tickets sold out a long time ago he's gone over the top has it been taken yes to the tallest man in the field other than Suleiman Ben Karen Pollard right on the boundary has them dancing in the stands again at Queen's Park Oval it's good bowling by Ben, kept it right up there, kept it straight. Really had to generate some pace from the ball, always sharp. It's a good size Queen Spark Oval. And Kyron Pollard has a safe pair of hands. England keep losing wickets here in this passage. 82 for four. It's been a while, hasn't it? Tell me about this game again. Solid, prolific opening batsman in the Test Series. But now, in the middle order, and with the innings at a critical stage. The demise of Away Shah. Spares them in, makes it difficult for the batsman to get under him. And he was trying to clear the long on, but the, the giant Kyron Paul out with the comfortable catch. <laughs> this time Norman Malcolm doesn't agree with the appeal to the relief of England. End of the over, 11 gone, 82 for four. Two for four, where will they end up, England? What is enough? Well, the time will tell. Last ball of the previous over. Wow, it's a lot straighter than I thought. He gave that not out, and yet he gave Kevin Peterson out. Norman Malcolm is moving too quickly for him. Bravo, starting his final over. Now, what kind of impetus can Andrew Strauss give to the innings in this position? Not really a power player, such and the only thing about that Kyron Pollard catch, we all look at it as pretty routine. But often, when you're feeling that close to the boundary ropes, you have to pick up the trajectory of the ball, take your eye off of where you are for a minute. How close is the boundary rope? That's the judgment he has to make. Just a little glance before the ball reaches fairly close to him, just a little glance as to where he is to ensure he's safe, and he's done it perfectly. Could feel a quick across the ground. Had a, a nightmare in New Zealand recently, but still a very young man and hoping to cement a place, certainly the limited over setup. <laughs> Queen's Park man as well, Pollard as well as Bravo. They play their country cricket and club cricket here at the Oval. Sami again, just not able to pick up. Proud son of St. Lucia.
just didn't get it right. No argument about the decision this time from uh, the umpire. I haven't forgotten your crack about me seeing that first day of Test cricket 132 years ago, Bish. But I think even old Charles Bannerman would have said, had he been alive, that those decisions sometimes go against you, sometimes they go for you. Let's look down the England batting order. Where does the impetus come? You need some power hitters down there. Mascarinas, we all know, as a tremendous striker of the ball. In decent form. 84 not out yesterday against the Weeper 11 at Guacara Park in South Trinidad from 55 deliveries. And he's done it before at international level, so he's a key figure. Here he is with the pads on, Dimitri Mascarenas, handy all-round player. Good work by Shivnarayan Chandapal, Dimitri Mascarenas. Good innings yesterday on a small ground, fast outfield. Being extremely intense. Concentrating almost too hard. Long on, long off coming in, long on going out. They're struggling to get momentum now, England, with the clatter of wickets in the last few overs. See that those numbers going down. The current score now 140 at this rate 149. They want to get somewhere between 153, 170, at the very least. It's a bad delivery by Bravo, would have been wide at Collingwood, left it anyway, he's nudged it away for four, and Bravo finishes his four of us, it's 92 for four. of this Apple Watch has taken a hard fall and is not responding to their watch. The emergency location is latitude 47.7, longitude minus 117.5 with an estimated search radius of 41 meters. This message will repeat in 5 seconds. Clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. So we really put our hearts and souls into making this place our own. You know, it's everything. It's home.
But it's just bricks and mortar at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, just bricks and mortar. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Just look at that frolicking space. Get searching now on Zoopla. Good spell from Bravo. Boarded wicket. Grey skies over Port of Spain, the pylons of the Hazley Crawford Stadium. The football venue now for Trinidad and Tobago. Athletic track. But here at Queen's Park Oval is where they're packed in for this highly anticipated encounter. Not too many visitors uh, for this one, dominated by locals. Looks very hard on his game, Darren Sammy. Spent a couple of seasons on the Lord's ground staff. Well short. It's a matter of finding his own niche in this form of a game for Strauss. He was involved with Middlesex in the Stanford Super Series late last year. But he's not a power player. There's no pace on the ball. The demands on him are great in looking to get the ball to the boundary. Puts a little bit of pressure on Paul Collingwood to find those boundaries. Maybe not that time yet. Still a fair number of overs left. Well, relative to 2020 cricket anyway into the 13th over of the innings but is the tempo at the moment seven and a half enough is it enough just the single again it doesn't appear at this stage that the rate they're going at would be enough but of course you never know with the West Indies it really will depend on getting some momentum in the last seven and a half overs, putting the pressure on when they defend whatever total it is. Yeah, but I just think that when you, you bat first as a team, you say to the guys, let's assess the pitch, let us decide what is a good total. Obviously, you can't dictate what the opposition will do, but under that helmet in Strauss's own mind is he comfortable with the pace that they're going at at the moment that is the question no one else can answer but himself high in the air mid wicket Lendell Simmons is coming under it it's a steepler it's taken a lot of pressure on Collingwood to get the boundaries of big shots with Strauss at the other end and he perishes going for the big hit well, that pressure is taking its toll Collingwood the latest perishing trying to go for the big hit to get a move on but again the lack of pace on the ball Darren Sammy this time miscued and he knew the writing was on the wall Lendl Simmons looking at it very very carefully into the hands and uh, he's gone now Paul Collingwood departs wicket number five has gone down Collingwood for 14 it's 95 for five New batsman is uh, Dimitri Mas Mascarenas, won't face right away. 
Little dab shot ends the over at 96 for five. Strauss is six and Mascarin has just come in. West Indies going well, chipping away at England. Taking wickets at the right time. This is a good catch. Steady yourself. Catches it very, very well. But Collingwood looking for a maximum. You see that cloudy sky and a white ball, it wouldn't be easy. Mascarenas, big hope for England. West Indies fielding has been sharp today. They've looked uh, up for it. Kyron Pollard now comes on. He's a stiff medium pace, a big fellow. You really feel that he should be bowling about 95 miles an hour and knocking people's heads off. But he's uh, just about right arm medium fast. I think more medium than fast. 96 for five. Strauss in strike, Mascarenas, dangerous player. 84 not out yesterday in the warm-up match. So England of seven overs, minus one ball. 41 events. Yeah, he's stiff. Balls a hard ball, as they say. Just got an edge onto that, didn't carry through to Ramlin. Slow ball. Strauss uh, with somebody else's shirt on, given that indication there, with that plaster on the name. I would guess, uh, Bumble, the name is Bell, because it's very short, and uh, the plaster is not very long. No kit. Besh is building the three dot balls and just a single. Excellent over this from Pollard. Ramdin will thinking that the team is doing very, very well. The bowlers are bowling to the plans, bowling straight. Fielding has been exceptional. England, I would say, with it all to do, 97 for five. around the field, look at those stands, they're absolutely packed, would be about, I suppose, 18,000 in the ground, its capacity is about 22. Good to see. Good spell here by Pollard. In contrast to the England captain, who obviously has on someone else's shirt, the West Indies in brand new kit, come in from... Coming from the manufacturers uh, just a few days ago. Fine over. Just one run from Chiron Pollard. 97 for five. We have another six overs remaining. I suppose what you can do if you're 70 miles an hour and bowl straight. Just a single from the over. Pressure bowling coming into the attack. Just one over now. One over, none for one. Sammy, two overs, one for seven. England have got six overs left. I believe that Paul von Hartmann is known to you. He has a document in his possession. We'd like you to go to Munich and get the document. It'll be an act of espionage on foreign soil. Hitler is lying when he claims he wants peace. That document is the proof. You cannot play poker with a gangster without having some cards up on sleeve.
Let's play for history, for revenge, to achieve a dream. Let's play for the crowd and millions more. Let's play every ball. Oh yes, another scorcher of a rally. Great execution. The first Grand Slam event of the year, the Australian Open. Live on Eurosport and Discovery Plus. Just £29.99 for the first year. Limited time offer. Betting. Well fielded. Spectators catch. Thousands of here thought it was a return catch, but he's hit it hard into the ground. Seen that happen more than once here. Needs a burst from England. The crowd are right behind the West Indies. clever he was shaping as if to play on the leg side Sammy saw him put it down the offside and still he could adjust he only got the single for it but good adjustment well he'd seen that Silliman Ben was at short fine leg so he's trying to get it over his head he's such a big man and then dabs it down to third man it's just singles for England 10 fours in the innings 98 for five just 10 fours no sixes just a 70 yard boundary this Here's someone who can hit sixes. Yep. Dimitri Mastorinus. Throw at the ball of stumps, and he's gone. Well, that was uh, a real mix-up. Mascarenas goes off his second delivery. Confusion with his captain. That's a big setback for England. Here's one man who could have revived their innings. Clumsy cricket by England. Terrific cricket by West Indies. Just take a look at this. Hesitancy. Pushes it into the offside, stop, start, stutters. Good return to the ball, they're gone. Amateur stuff from England, but Sarwan steadies himself. Accurate throw to the bowler, bails her off, and it's Mascarenas. That's the one that they wanted, no score for him, 98 for six. Yep, I wonder who he's supporting. No question, no question. I think Bumble, you've seen that uh, gesture before, haven't you? Well, we might get another, there it is. Just singles for England. They cannot break out of this West Indies stranglehold of medium paces, varying the pace, slow deliveries, lots of them. Push and go, stops. Sawant does well. Not the best of fielders. Real teamwork from the West Indies. But such a big wicket. That really is a danger wicket. New batsman is Gareth Batty. First appearance in uh, the West Indies at international level. Did play yesterday in the warm-up match against the West Indies Players Association 11. 50 overs match down at Guaracar Park in Point of Pair. Like so many of the players here for the shorter form of the game, joined the team from the England Lions squad, presently touring New Zealand. Yeah, Swan went back home for an operation on this uh, troublesome elbow. Stuart Broad, next man in.
The five overs remain, 101 for six. So what's on his mind, the captain's mind, they're enjoying themselves. England are struggling at 101 for six. That projected score is going down and down. Eight and over just gets 141. They've got to go at 10 and over to get 150. And there are only four wickets left. Over number 16 now from Pollard. Should be two here. Simmons, good strong return. The West Indies fielding has been absolutely spot on. Not usual that you can say that, but you can say it with certainty here today. Well, in the superstars, they were exceptional. That six week build up to play at Antigua paid dividends. Good shot. Very good shot, outside of his legs and swept away by Strauss, picked it up really well. Fine leg is in the restricting area, no one protecting the boundary, well hit. Well, it is about boundaries now for England, just with these four wickets left, and Strauss is in there, 16 from 17 deliveries. 107 for six. Another spectator's catch. We've seen quite a few of them today. Hit hard into the ground and back on the first bounce to the bowler. Not much to come for England. Stuart Broad, next man in. Everybody fancies the chances in 2020. Again, another fine shot. Really well done. Innovation from the England captain, who has been in such fine form in the tests. And uh, the fine leg is in that restricting area, and uh, very well done. Well, they've still got a goal. Inventive play by Andrew Strauss. Fine leg inside the circle, that may change. It does, it changes right now. Fine leg drops back, third man comes inside the circle. So plenty of work now for Ramdin as captain, just to get back on track. 111 for six, 10 and over gets 154. Well bowled. And well backed up as well by Pollard. Difficult return for him to intercept. Well, it's such a vital element, 2020 cricket. Excellent fielding. And short work by the West Indies again. Now they've gone for one. That's all they'll be. But it's been a productive over for England. 11 off it, 112 for six, four overs remain. The owner of this Apple Watch has taken a hard fall and is not responding to their watch. The emergency location is latitude 47.7, longitude minus 117.5 with an estimated search radius of 41 meters. This message will repeat in 5 seconds. Clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. Yeah, we love it here, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Plus, we get on really well with the Thompsons next door.
They're friends for life. Sorry, guys. Have you seen that? Having said that, they're pretty annoying, really. What? Nothing. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Oh, horses for neighbours. Get searching now on Zoopla. Partnership is 14 from nine deliveries. Strauss is 21 from 21. Batting new to the crease. England's progress. We're into the last four overs. Last over giving a, a bit of a spurt. Well bowled again. Sammy in his last over here. Norman Malcolm, who's uh, not had the best of days from Jamaica. A couple of leg before decisions looked a little bit dubious. Not giving the wide for that one. Field change here again. Strauss has looked to get the ball down to fine leg. Fine leg has now dropped back. Third man comes inside the circle. Doesn't seem to be any inclination or endeavour to hit sixes, get the ball right over the top with a clean hit down the ground. We've not seen any shots like that. We've seen the invention, innovative shots to get behind square, offside, leg side. Have to hurry here. And they do. Just a single as saw one comes in. Yeah, the big crowd in the grass banks. Now that grass bank used to be a concrete cycle track. And they're using it here and it is really well populated. I don't think you can stick a pin in there all the way around the ground, the grass bank. <laughs> Just missing the stumps. Clever variations here by Darren Sammy. It really is brilliant bowling, this, from Sammy. He's such a big strapping lad, and he's never going to get it down at 90 miles an hour, but his variations and his accuracy. He's just going for singles. This is his last over. He's got two deliveries left. Superb work. Superb work. They've asked for the run out. Absolutely superb work by Chandapal and by Sammy. Good feeling in from me. Chander Paul's a fielder, elder statesman of the team. It's clipped into mid wicket. He collects it well there. Good pick up. Releases quickly. Where's Strauss? Where is he? He's got a goal. Oh, this is tight. This is tight. I think I'm a goner. I think I'm a goner. And so Strauss. Let's have a seat. Tony Corsi, what do you think? I think, what do you think? Let the third umpire decide. <laughs> I don't think he can give it here, but it was superb work. It just epitomizes the quality of the West Indies fielding today. Chandapal to Sami. Let's remember that the line is the umpires. He's got Arby's bat behind the line. All oh, the bales are on the move there. Bat is just short of the line, he's on the line, Bales on the move. Bales out of the groove, third umpire's decision. This is tight, really tight. It's up to Clancy Mack, the third umpire, to give it. Andrew Strauss will wait, it's a close run thing, he's given him out. Very, very close indeed, Andrew Strauss looks around bewildered. But that is a superb piece of work by Chandapal and by Sami. Well, we talk about fielding. This is what it can do. This is Chandapal. It's a terrific pickup. And watch his release. He gets it away quickly. Steadies himself and it's gone. And now it's down to the bowler. Great pickup. Bales are off. 
it's millimetres, but he's gone, Andrew Strauss for 22, 114 for seven. No wonder they're happy. Not very often in the recent past you've seen West Indian faces at cricket matches with uh, those smiles on their faces. Ends 17 overs, three to go, 115 for seven. Well, it's good to see some fun on the faces of the West Indies spectators. The team are playing well, spectators respond. England with work to do, 115 for seven, three overs left. West Indies winning the toss and bowling first. That's England's card. Promising, you would say, 13, 27, 12, 14, 22, no substantial innings. Calm next, Anderson last. Nine and over, gets 142, they've got to go some. Twelve fours, no sixes. Three overs to go. Fidel's back. Well, you might say that he'll finish off here, but it all depends how he goes in this over, I feel. There are two overs to come from the, his end, that's the Bran Lara Pavilion end, the southern end of the ground, and then one over from the northern end, which Suno and Ben probably will be used for. Here's Edwards. Well, this is West Indies of uh, the Superstars variety. In that match on November the 1st, the 2020 for 20 million, they were absolutely outstanding in the field and they have matched that standard today. Captaincy is very demanding, wicket keeper, captain in his first game. Chris Gale not playing. Ramdin's done exceptionally well. Can be mayhem out there in a 2020 game. Everything happens so quickly. The game can get ahead of you. Yeah, you can have your singles. Yeah, Ramnan came to the vice captaincy when Ramnan Ashawan was vice captain for three One Day Internationals in Abu Dhabi last November. And when he arrived in New Zealand, Sawan quit the captaincy and they made uh, around in the vice captain quit the vice captaincy sorry Edwards back and on a spot well he's working all the time around him wicket keeper captain captain the West Indies on the 19 team to the final of the on the 19 World Cup in Bangladesh four or five years ago He's not new to the post. Well, you just mentioned Abu Dhabi there. You'll be very interested to know, Tony, the Flintstones, you know the Flintstones? Fred and Wilma. Yeah, I know Fred. Don't know Wilma so well. All right, but Bedrock, Dubai TV took it. And they've taken it off. People in Dubai do not get the Flintstones. But Abu Dhabi do. I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> Gone! What magnificent fielding by the West Indies today. This is quite sensational stuff. Ramner Ashawan pings the stumps direct. Another run out. Batty goes. Eight down for 117. And whether Abu Dhabi do or Abu Dhabi don't, Sawan does. Well, this is Ramner S. Sawan. Not the best of fielders, but just check this out. Take aim, fire. Not in the picture, Batty. Brilliant piece of fielding. Wow, oh yes. It's Sawan this time. On your way. Usain Bolt, there we go again. He doesn't run as fast as him, but he's effective. 
That's his goal, it's 117 for eight. Edwards now to Broad. And taken. Didn't carry. Didn't carry. Suron Ben reckons it's bounced, and if he can't get to it, no one else can. Six foot seven inches of him comes forward, and the ball just bouncing in front of him. Holds it safely, but not full. 117 for eight. Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites, hosting, domains. I own us. You're more than a small business. You're blowing stuff up for fun. For 200,000 customers worldwide, with a team who keeps bringing you big ideas that you can't help but make even bigger. And now you need a smart marketing platform to help you reach more pools. But don't worry, we can help. MailChimp's creative tools, marketing automations, and recommendations all work together to help you create better results. MailChimp, built for growing businesses. This is the motorway way to sell your car. The sell your car from home way. The car dealer's bid to give you the best price way. The you could get up to £1,000 more way. The your car gets picked up from home for free way. This is the way to sell your car. This is the motorway. Unlike most costs, you may find your car insurance premium is lower than last year. But I'm telling you, there's more savings out there if you shop around. And there's the free £250 excess cover each time you switch with... Go Mamma mia! Recompare! Oh, recompare! It's time to recompare with Go Compare! Tell all your friends and family. Well, good on his play from Silliman Ben. You get those things sometimes that are referred to the umpires and third umpire gets in, but that's England's sorry card. We talked earlier about some promising scores, but no big scores. No substantial innings. In danger of not lasting, 20 overs. Two wickets to play with. Amjad Khan is at the crease. Jimmy Anderson next in. Just the 12 fours, nothing more. Ben's last over now. Damn jab. The full toss pushed away on the onside. Will they think of a second? No, they won't. They've had three runouts already. Well organised, the West Indies today. The captain winning the toss and say we'll have a ball first and we'll get one more than England. Bowling has been. Exceptional, so is the fielding. Captain has been so impressive. It's been desperately difficult, so difficult. Keeping wicket, captain in 2020. No Chris Gale in the team, normal captain. Now there will be a, a leg uh, before appeal, but a leg by no yes given. And Norman. Norman Markham, that is. He gets outside the line. I think he's played a shot and he's outside the line of the stumps. Just 
get the impression that West Indies are saying job done. 120 for eight, you can have the singles. I better not say that. Runs have still got to be got, but they have been outstanding today. Nicely played. Now will they come back for the second? Amjad's keen to, but every throw has been spot on. Fast, accurate. Been aggressive in the field of the West Indies. The pickups have been really good. Watch him recover there. Accuracy of the throw. Oh, yeah. ball in, all over the place. A Sulu and Ben special. Ben strikes with the last ball. He's bowled in England in danger here. Have been dismissed before their allocated 20 overs are complete. Kasha Sain said he would be an influence, Solomon Ben. Finished his spell, four overs, no maidens, three for 24, that's his last. Last delivery, gets a wicket, Amjad Khan. Just two from him, 121 for nine. Well, dancing in the stands, they've got plenty to talk about, dance about, sing about. Oh, no, they good. No question where we are. We are in Trinidad and Tobago. We're in Port of Spain and we are at the Queen's Park Oval for the first 2020 international ever staged on this famous ground. Music booms out around the ground. Big bass on. Home crowd ecstatic at the performance of the team. 121 for nine. Last man in. James Anderson. So one over to go, six deliveries. It will be Fidel Edwards. Short board has a strike. Two left handers, two fast bowlers. Broad and Anderson. Taken all over. Comfortably taken by Ben. West Indies have dismissed England in 19 overs on one ball and aren't the girls happy? All out 121. A magnificent performance in the field by the West Indies. Halfway there, so they say, West Indies. A terrific effort. England embarrassed, not batting for 20 overs. All out for 121. Lots to think about. Faces tell it all there. West Indies winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. They've cleaned out England. The fielding has been exceptional from the West Indies. Catching Brown fielding. Stuart brought the last man to go. Caught Ben bowled Edwards for two. Modest total, it's 122 to win and England have batted 19.1 overs. Well, they started pretty well. Davis in his uh, first big match of the tour played some handsome shots in 27 of 21 deliveries but then things started to go downhill once peterson was leg before we get the bend and uh, the west indies fielding has been absolutely spot on and uh, not least of those fielders has been darren sammy who's down with nasa hussein darren well bowled four overs for 13 you take that when you start it oh yes definitely um you know, play, we, we have the advantage over England so far in 2020s and we just came out there and once again we executed our plans. A little shaky in the start, but we came back, we came back and the guys did excellently. You were backed up in the field as well, brilliant fielding. Yeah, you know, the guys, as you know, over the past few years, West Indies fielding has been coming up to, uh, up to scratch and it was perfect team execution again, like I said, we bowled well, we fielded well, now it's our turn to go out there and, and, and bat. What do you make of the pitch? Lots of variation in pace there. Yeah, I think it's a pitch you have to really mix your, 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 your balls on, on. And um, as you could see, the slower bowlers um, did the job for us. Hopefully our batters could um, counteract and, and come out successful in this run chase. You and Suleiman Ben like playing against England in 2020. <laughs> yeah, well, so far I've played um, three, three 2020s against them and you know, we all know what the last one was about. So. We, have a, we came in this game very confident looking to, to beat England and hopefully, like I said, you guys have to go out there and bat well so we could come out victorious. 
Any reason you shouldn't chase down 121? No reason. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, Bumble, you talked about faces. Look at the face there on uh, Darren Sammy and then contrast that with the faces in the England room. Sammy outstanding with the ball and also in the field. Sawan with two runouts. You don't see that very often in the West Indies card. Chandapal, a brilliant piece of fielding, which just managed to get Strauss on the line. 121 all out. They didn't uh, occupy their allocated 20 overs. Disappointment for England. West Indies bowling figures, all very good, really. Fidel Edwards, just 3.1 overs, one for 18. Lionel Baker at the top of the innings, one for 12. Darren Sammy outstanding. Four overs, one for 14. Bravo comes back into the team with one for 34. Suleiman Ben, left arm spin, three for 24. And Pollard ball well, two overs, none for 12. All impressive. Well, that's what we have here now. We'll have 10 minutes between innings. West Indies need 122 runs to win in the one and only 2020 International of the Series. Good start for England. Davis especially played a number of handsome shots. The left-hander, the wicketkeeper in his first major match for England. Bopara also played some fine shots, but then had his middle stump uprooted by Lionel Baker. And that really was the, the start of England's problems. Davis with a couple of fine shots. And the off stump taken by Bravo. Bravo's first wicket for the West Indies since his return. Fine innings by him. And then perhaps an unlucky decision going against uh, Peterson. May have just missed the leg stump from Ben. Ball whipped away. Nice looking shot by Collingwood. And then uh, just getting home. Shaw would have been uh, another run out for him but he didn't last very much longer. Pollard taking the catch, six foot four inches of him and pulled it in on the long on boundary. Another good catch, a steeper this time, taken up by Lendl Simmons coming in from mid-wicket. And Mascarenas, who might just have revived England out to a fine piece of fielding by Sarwan in association with Sammy. Strauss whipped up and away and whipped, uh, in fact, two of them away in the same over down over the short fine leg but then a superb piece of fielding combination between Chandapal and Sami just got him on the crease and was given out on the television replay yet another run out this time a direct hit from Saran battling the batsman on this occasion jubilation for the West Indies oh! Amjad went to just missing one really from Ben and the last man was broad Big Ben holding it in at uh, extra cover end of the innings 121 all out still with five balls not used up West Indies require 122 to win the runs are on the board it doesn't seem a big target but who can tell been in the car accident my car slipped and there's water getting in the car can you get out ma'am no are you by yourself yes it's getting deeper it's getting deeper it's getting to my neck try to keep your head above water okay okay there's people on the way to you thank you today but what's this simply cook simply cook what though simply cook japanese seared steak simply cook cuban prawn pasta simply cook chicken makani just grab the flavor pots and add a few of your own fresh ingredients to cook incredible meals from scratch in just 20 minutes oh what a triumph tonight let's simply cook The best bit about leaving home is finding your own. So before our daughter flew the nest, we thought about how we could help her out. That's why we spoke to Skipton Building Society. 
Their support helped get our savings in a good place so we could put some money towards her new pad. She's never followed the crowd. So it was no surprise when she didn't go for bricks and mortar. So we really put our hearts and souls into making this place our own, you know. It's everything. It's home. But it's just bricks and mortar at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, just bricks and mortar. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Just look at that frolicking space. Get searching now on Zoopla. to Port of Spain, Trinidad, England in their first innings, 121 all out, crowd not too bothered about the score, they're parting, great atmosphere, Port of Spain, there's the score, top score, 27, Davies on debut, bowl bravo, he played well off just 21 deliveries, but no meaningful contribution or partnership, bowled out in 19.1 overs, you don't see that often in a 2020 match. West Indies brilliant with the ball and exceptional in the field. All the drop catches of the Test Series have gone. The ground fielding, the catching was excellent. Look at the bowling figures. Darren Sammy, one for 14. And Suleiman Ben, three for 24. They like playing against England in 2020 cricket. Bravo's back, four overs, one for 34. Well, they've given the fans lots of reason to be partying in the stands, Nas, but uh, the West Indies know that they've still got a bit of work to do. Uh, they'll want to be as emphatic as it was in the Stanford match, the 20 million match, as Andre Fletcher, who is now coming out, said that it may not be 20 million, but it means a lot for the West Indies and Caribbean people to be on a winning streak. Plenty of problems for Andrew Strauss, 121 is not a big score, but it's a score you can defend on a tired pitch if England bowl well. They probably need to bowl the West Indies out as well. Hasn't had a lot of captaincy experience in 2020 cricket. Captain Middlesex in the first two years of the competition. Can't really do a lot as captain. You just pray that your bowlers get it right and your fielders back you up. Not too many people can remember the last time Ramnare Sarwan effected two runouts as he did in uh, the England innings. But so it will be the man of the Test series, Ramnare Sarwan. Man of the Test series, Ramnare Sarwan opening up. And Andre Fletcher, star in the making in 2020. He was the man that walloped England everywhere in the $20 million game. James Anderson with the new ball, ball straight, ball back of a length, and field as well as you've ever fielded before. It will be a wide. England need to be exceptional in these first few overs. They can't afford West Indies to get away with a flyer. And then you're playing catch-up cricket and there'll be no pressure. First thing he might want to do is to change that name off the shirt. Because uh, it's almost a case of mistaken identity right now for England. Well, Tony goes cozy a guess wrong. He thought it was Bell shirt, it was Pryor shirt the England captains got on. England will know that you've got to be straight to Sarwan. They got him out LBW in the Test Series here by bowling straight. He is exceptional on the cut. The innings in Barbados, he scored 80% of his runs on the offside. But as a captain, you will allow Anderson the odd delivery, the odd wide down the leg side. It's understandable when you're striving to bowl straight. Yeah. 
it's about keeping them in check and working on the patience factor. Anderson was very good in the test match on the last day of the test series. He bowled well yesterday at Guarakara Park in South Trinidad in that warm-up match. You almost get the sense from Jimmy Anderson that he's trying to prove everybody wrong. That uh, because he's almost been at the back of the queue, that he wants to show everyone what he's really made of. The best way would be bowl four overs, three for ten here. And get rid of Fletcher immediately before he does any damage. Very natural talent. Tell us about Fletcher, what's he done since that $20 million game? He's actually created a bit of controversy because he wasn't selected for the Windward Islands. He is from the island of Grenada, so therefore plays for the Windward Islands and wasn't selected for, for a long time and only came in to the Windward Islands team. And uh, he's clearly a man of style, you can see with the, re the reverse cap behind him. But uh, obviously he's a player with tremendous potential, tremendous ability, hits the ball very, very hard. I wonder what was going through his head when he got his helmet on. I'll put my cap on first, the wrong way round. And then I'll put my helmet on. And the leg side, that's what I mean. Anderson has to bowl straight, he's just too straight. What is that? Is that some kind of new style that we, we've missed out on in, in Trinidad? Come on, Nas, you're showing your age. They, they, this is the new wave. They do anything these days. It's all about style. Uh, Chris Gale has grown accustomed now to wearing one of those uh, bits of uh, hair piece things in one day cricket that trails behind him as if he's one of those dance hall reggae singers. It's all about style and fashion. Bishop is saying it's called a bandana. But he is one of those exceptional talents uh, among the young cricketers uh, in the West Indies. One of the concerns has been that as well as the West Indies have been playing, what about the next year? What about the players to come? Change in the field, Slip comes out. Strauss has decided not enough pace in the pitch to get to Slip, so more cover on the offside. England pretty soon will start be bowling the cutting option, lots of cutters and slower balls. Beautifully played. Open the face, it won't go for four. Just two. Almost off the outer half of the bat. Didn't time it as well as he wanted. Sarwan isn't the quickest either in the running between the wickets. Not the sort of start that England would want, but for the West Indies boys in the dugout, it will be really helping them towards a pretty modest target, really. There you see Anderson trying to bowl straight, no swing, or just drifting down the leg side. Four deliveries down there. One has been tucked away for a single. Top of off stump. It's in the air, it's gone away on the leg side. Wow. That's how quick the outfield is, it's gone for four. Ten for none. Well, it was a thick inside edge. He's trying to go mid-wicket. Man in front of square in the deep. First boundary of the innings. Well, England didn't do much better in the Stanford match. They got just 99 here, 22 runs more. But they've got to find some way to get the early breakthroughs, to peg back the West Indies, create something. Well, even if it's just pressure, to join the dots, create some pressure and wait for the big shot. Stuart Broad it will be. And the Brian Lara pavilion end. To hit the deck bowler, one slip, fine legs up, and out on the leg side.
You see so many players backing away to leg. Sometimes you wonder if they make it more difficult for themselves, uh, making it so obvious, sometimes telegraphing that movement towards the legs. So we saw it from Steve Davies early on as well. It'll be interesting to compare that to Bopar. I think you go about one stump you should go just to get a bit of room. Sarwan in particular because he likes to go offside. He's trying to give himself some width. Broad will definitely bowl a lot of slower balls and cutters. He does that in the test matches. There it is, straight away. Man in the deep, Mascarenas under it, gone. Huge wicket for England, one man out and it's gone straight to him. Exactly what England wanted and needed. Andre Fletcher tore into them at the Stanford Cricket Ground here at Queen's Park Oval. Looking to go over the top again of the inner portion of the bat and a comfortable catch for Dimi Mascarenas. No glory for Andre Fletcher, he's gone for six, it's 11 for one in over number two. No Chris Gale today, but the two big guns, the other two big guns, Chandapal and Sarwan at the crease. Chandapal, a very unusual player. Sometimes he'll plod along and he won't score any runs at any kind of rate. Other times he'll whack it all over the place. Good bowling from Broad. Immediately he bowled a cutter to Fletcher, which takes a lot of bottle, really. Watch him roll his fingers down the side. And good work from Strauss. He was only allowed one man out. In front of square, usually you have a third man. Second man was decided to have a backward square, so that's a good start from Strauss. There you see the two men out, leg side and a third man. Around here, Nas would say it takes a lot of belly. As uh, in a lot of bottle, uh, you've got to, got to have the stomach for the fight, and really England have got to show that. They've got to show that, uh, even if they're only defending 121, that they're really prepared to to get up uh, the, the throats of these guys, put some pressure on them, make them work very hard, and pick up a few wickets. Yeah, and it's an unusual tactic from the West Indies. They are going with their best players. Doesn't matter what form of cricket it is. Yes, we've had Fletcher. But their best players in any form they believe are the ones that will get them home. So it's Chandapur, test match player, Sarwan, test match player at the crease. In the first six overs, how will Chandapur play? Which mode? Well, that's why he's one of your best players. You bowl him a drive ball, any form of the game, he'll whack it for four. Well, we've got an early indication of the type of player we're going to see this afternoon. And uh, they love him here. He's really taken on the mantle of being the senior player in every way. By example, by the runs that he's produced, by his attitude, and finding the gap so effectively. That was the key, finding the gap, open the face. Broad now around the wicket, trying to tuck him up. Yeah, I think we're going to see shot a ball, Chandapal, today. 16 for one after two. Wouldn't it be nice if switching mobile networks was this easy? Just one simple text and you're ready to switch to Sky Mobile. It's that quick and easy. Sky Mobile. Hello, possible. Attention, please. Here's something I bet you didn't know. Not all supplements are created equal. 
At Healthspan, our omega-3 oil is sustainably sourced from the South Pacific Ocean. We find our turmeric on the southern slopes of India, and our cod liver oil comes from the cold, crisp seas of Greenland. We work hard to seek out the best ingredients for all our supplements, because that's the Healthspan way. We're healthspan.co.uk. Vitamins and supplements in-store or direct to your door. When you have piles, toilet paper can feel rather rough. So try soothing and cleansing wipes from Anusol. Don't tell me this is all for nothing. I can only tell you one thing. On the nights you feel outnumbered. I am a wake up, wake up. Quaker oats feed more than your body. They feed the fire inside. Quaker. These lads have a, a quick chat, lots of smiles, a few nerves there. Campbell definitely going to play a lot of shots. Sarwen just going to rely on his timing and the form he's in. Exceptional form. Plenty of batting to come. Simmons, the young lad who made a Debut in the Test Series here, Bravo, big striker of the ball, as is Pollard. Ramdin, very effective 2020 player, hits it in unusual areas. Sammy, the all-rounder, Ben can bat. Fidel, well, he blocks it to save Test matches. This is the gamble for England. Now, this morning when I looked at the pitch, I would have said pace off the ball. They've gone in a different direction. They've gone with pace on the ball. It's not always accurate, as we saw in the test matches, and he also bowls no ball, so hold your breath. It's a gamble. Darts with a slower ball, hit away for four. That's a risky take with Amjad Kanal. He's found uh, his way to victory. <laughs> it's clearly... West Indian fans uh, relish this, they enjoy this. What's he looking for, that lad in the ground, in the stands? Probably looking for an Englishman celebrating. We haven't seen too many of them of late. But that was right in the slot for Sarwan. Short, wide, and even with a lack of pace, he was able to find the gap very easily. Pressure on Khan. It's in the air, over extra cover. What a shot, up and over, four, four. Well, they've clearly made up their minds they're not going to allow Amjad Khan to settle. They're going to try to finish this off as quickly and as effectively and as emphatically as possible. West Indies see him as the weak link of this attack. They like the pace on the ball. And Sarwan's not letting him settle. Two deliveries, eight runs. He's on the phone to his mates now. When the West Indies are on a high, uh, you look at the fans and you think that they, they never experienced a low point in their cricketing lives, that they didn't go through that very tough period uh, when the West Indies were hammered by England uh, series after series. But now, with, with the series won, they'll put aside all the talk about the West Indies being lucky, about escaping in Antigua, about escaping in Port of Spain. They'll see this as the new wave. Well, also, this form of the game, I can't believe this is the first 2020 game played in Trinidad. I mean, what a venue for 2020 cricket. Other grounds, you have to fly in the dancing girls. The dancing girls are already here. The crowd love action. It's a sellout. It's the perfect venue for this form of the game. Great atmosphere in the middle. 
Ball the ball again. We seem to be a bit slow of the mark, Nas, because the first one-day international played on this ground wasn't until 1983. The West Indies had won two World Cups uh, by that stage. The, the lights, the floodlights that have been installed around this ground were only put in place last year and have only been switched on a few months ago. There you see them uh, against that grey sky, which has been with us all day, the grey sky, but certainly it hasn't affected the cricket. Court and four more. At the moment, this has all the makings of a rout. With the way the bowling has been going, the boundaries have been flowing, and the way they're celebrating, he's got to find a way, the England captain, to put a break on the scoring. Well, he's desperate to get to over number seven. He wants six overs gone so he can get his spinner on, he can get Mascarenas on. Two spinners, maybe, on this sort of pitch. Expensive over, 13 from it, 29 for one. England got off to a, a good start as well. This stage England were 25 without loss, so West Indies just ahead. If West Indies stay ahead in the first six, seven overs, then there'll be no comeback for England because they fell away rapidly towards the end. This partnership 18 off just 10 deliveries and problems for the England captain. Will he go to Amjad Khan again or will he take the gamble and bowl someone like Mascarenas in the first six overs? Might have to be Anderson brought back. Got to bowl the West Indies out. Get the best bowlers on early. Too many gifts for the West Indies. It's giving too much away, they can't afford to, to be bowling as many as four wides so early in the piece. They're defending just 121. Must be a slightly handling of pressure issue because when pressure is applied, you tend to exaggerate everything you're told. Example, the batting. Give yourself room under pressure, you give yourself too much room. When you're told by the captain, bowl straight under pressure, you just bowl a little bit too straight. Got to take the pressure. That's better. Came very close to dragging it on. And uh, he is limping now. West Indies have had some injury problems uh, with Ramnari Saran. So many times he's been laid low by one ailment or the other. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Inside edge onto the knee. The pad would have just flexed as he was playing the shot. And it would have been inside edge of ball on Tony. They see the pad not protecting that. Ouch. He's often accused of being a bit of a drama queen, Ramnare Sarawan, when uh, he gets an injury, probably do well in the, in the Premier League, rolling all over the place when he's brought easy, down the easy. area. Easy. I think you got the wrong league there. Did I hear you said Italy Drogba? or Spain or someone? Oh, you're a gunner's man. No wonder you're so unhappy. For now, I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah. But that's going to sting for a while. Hit flush on the right side of the knee. Water on it. Well, for another West Indian player many years ago, who always cried out for help whenever he was injured. Uh, the, the old deodorant seemed to work at one time, so a bit of water might do the job. Just to be beware of the limping Gordon Greenwich, then in the test match here, beware of the limping Shivran Chandapur, who batted beautifully with a groin problem, then Chris Gale came in with a hamstring problem, now Salwan's struggling with a knee problem sort of thing that really today he'll struggle to get over. He might need a runner at some stage. He'll be fine in a few days' time. Hurts immediately. 
lightning will be an issue for a few overs. He'll want to be back up to full speed because the next two one days, the, the, the start of the one day series, is in Guyana, his homeland. He won't want to miss out on that, especially after the form that he showed in the test series. It isn't a long journey to Guyana from here. So many Guyanese live and work in Trinidad and Tobago. There, the, the Guyanese flag, uh, the golden arrowhead, as it's known. And, uh, they'll be looking forward with great anticipation for those two one days on Friday and Sunday. sure they've noticed the game stopped to be honest they just carry on drinking and partying just another opportunity to wind up a few of the locals grouse with problems and issues well it's said around here that carnival never stops it might have officially ended a couple of weeks ago but non-stop partying in this atmosphere. And goes silent. Chanapur takes guard in the middle. Sawan looks OK. Another thing that's helping the West Indies is the left-hand, right-hand combination. Ward having to adjust his line. And from the five deliveries I've seen of Chanapur, he really wants to hit ball. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It was not a great delivery, but he's just placed it and timed it perfectly. He is a master of the art, a nudger and a deflector he's been described as so often. But that was right in the slot for him. He doesn't have to do much. The pace of the delivery and bisecting the two fielders. Well, let's be honest, after 23.2 overs, England haven't batted well, and at the moment they're not particularly bowling well. They need something to change around pretty quickly. When everything is going wrong for you, you need someone, that, that impact player to make a difference, uh, to get a wicket, to get one up the bats and do something. I'm sure how interested Sawan is in running at the moment with that knee. Gets the single. No, he's going to walk his runs. Darwin was signalling for something. It might be that he, he needs some further attention, but Chanderpaul seemed to be laid low by a leg injury in the, the test match. He's back, back up to full speed. Brilliant work in the field, affecting the run out. They're ahead of the game, the West Indies. They know their target is a pretty modest one. It's interesting that he's on a ground that Brian Lara played so much of his cricket. Brian Lara, a native of, of Trinidad and Tobago. Lara was actually around the ground at the interval parading the T20 trophy. But he's gradually emerged from that shadow with the retirement of Lara. And Shiv Narayan Chandapal is now very much his own man. again could be a wide and is overhead high is a wide shoulder is okay but head is a wide in a normal start so I'd say just about right well he went ballistic at uh, Queen, at the same ground in the test match when a wide was called but I don't think he could have too many arguments this time
short. Cut doesn't find the gap. Nine from the over, 38 for one. Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites, hosting, domains. I own us. The way you slip and slide, the way you seek and hide, the way you shake your head, the way you run upstairs. UK's number one clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. The owner of this Apple Watch has taken a hard fall and is not responding to their watch. The emergency location is latitude 47.7, longitude minus 117.5 with an estimated search radius of 41 meters. This message will repeat in 5 seconds. Like it's going to be just the one over for Amjad Khan. One over for 13. Strauss wants to go back to James Anderson. Anderson one over for 10. Struggled with a few deliveries down the leg side to the right hander. 38 for one after four, so two overs of the restrictions left. Straight after the restrictions, you'd probably see Mascarenas and Batty on. Keeper standing up. Fielders can go back. West Indies have to stay positive, even when chasing down a small score. Have to get ahead of the rate and use the fielding restrictions. Stays positive, hits it straight. Hits it all the way for six, the first six of the day. So much for taking it easy. They want to ensure that there'll be no second guessing about the result of this match. Clean strike. England didn't manage to hit a six throughout their innings. 4.1 overs and Sarwan puts the first one up in the slot. Beautiful strike. A little bit of a fade on it. Way, way back. 83 metres, that's six. Yeah. Again, we see the batsman backing away to leg and the bowler just following him, trying to, to cramp him for that room. But I think they need more than that, Nas. They need more than just the keeping them down to the odd single. Because when you can cut loose with a big six like that, you've got a small total that you're chasing. Wickets are what England want. Well, the real guy is coming to Trinidad in April for the Summit of the Americas, but 
Barack Obama uh, clearly loves his cricket as well. That's not Barack Obama, the real Barack Obama. Probably saved that from uh, the Carnival Tuesday Parade. Great advantage that Sarwan got the six off the first ball of the over. It relieves the pressure for Chanderpool. Six one and then two dots. Don't worry, Shiver. The call from Sarwan. Partnership's good already. England struggle to put any kind of partnership. And they amassed 121. Highest partnership, 30 between Davies and Peterson. Comfortably placed the West Indies. The two senior men will certainly look to take them home. And what a celebration it will be if they do achieve that. They're already parting, as uh, you mentioned. They, they haven't stopped from the start of play. Up in the air, straight to backward point. Collingwood doesn't drop those. A good comeback from James Anderson. First ball goes for six. A wicket with his last ball. Well, that's the best way to quieten the fans and to make a difference in the game. Anderson, as purposeful and as determined as ever, Chandapal not to the pitch and a simple, very easy catch. Chiff Chandapal goes for 12. Will there be any drama left in this match? It's 45 for two. At the crease, Lendl Simmons made his test debut on this ground, has played one day international before 10 2020 matches. Got 30 against England yesterday in a warm up game. This one just bounced on Chanderpaul a little bit, it was probably cross seen from James Anderson. Paul Collingwood has taken harder catches than that. They've got to take the fans out of the game. Sort of like that football analogy. And now, with the wicket gone of uh, Chanderpaul, Amjad is brought back on from the Brian Lara Pavilion end. Well, the West Indies continued to attack him. They targeted him in his first over. Sarwan, I think, will stay positive. In there, he just starts with a slower ball, Amjad Khan. That's the only thing I'd question the selectors. You're playing your fastest bowlers, or one of your fastest bowlers, and he's trying to take pace off the ball. I would go the other way. You'd start with someone who naturally takes your pace off the ball, Rashid, or one of your other seamers, medium pacer. Jeff Miller, the uh, national selector on the left, Giles Clark, chairman of the ECB on the right. Another slower ball, which is good work from Amjad Khan. He's running his fingers uh, across the seam. And he's doing this in a part of the world where it was once frowned upon. It was almost considered something beneath the fast bowler to bowl the slow ball. Around here, there's no such thing. There used to be no such thing as a slow ball. That was for others to do. It was all about in your face, up at you. Pressure on Simmons, he's off the mark.
tough work for Amjad Khan on his test debut. The man from Copenhagen. Really is a League of Nations, this England team. Strauss wants mid on back and third man up. So you'd guess another slower ball with this field pace on the ball would go down to third man or fine leg. So Sarwan pretty much knows what's coming. Two men out both on the leg side. Will he give himself room and go offside? <laughs> no, he stays leg side. Finds Mascarena, should be two. Someone seems to have worked out the pain of that blow on the knee. Doesn't seem to be hobbling at all. At this stage, he's prepared to take on the responsibility of taking the West Indies all the way. This is the lone 2020 match of this series. Chris Gill, the captain on the sidelines, with the captain for the day, Dinesh Ramdin. Fifty comes up for the West Indies. Comes up in five overs and five deliveries. And then coming back in the game, but they're going to need a lot, lot more. The West Indies look like they've decided they're not going to lose more than two wickets in the first six overs. Often a side in a meeting the night before will decide how many wickets they're willing to lose in the first six or the first 10, 15 overs of a 50-over game. The West Indies have decided two's enough and then rebuild. Quick single and home. Six overs gone, 51 for two. Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Hagar, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites, hosting, domains. I own us. The way you slip and slide, the way you seek and hide, the way you shake your head, the way you run upstairs. UK's number one clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. Yeah, we love it here, don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, we get on really well with the Thompsons next door. They're friends for life. Sorry, guys. Have you seen that? <laughs> Having said that, they're pretty annoying, really. What? Nothing. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Oh, horses for neighbours. Get searching now on Zoopla. So, 71 needed at 5.07 runs per over. Plenty of wickets in hand, and as often happens after six overs, the spinner comes on Gareth Batty. Not in the original squad, called up for Graham Swan. No injury. Uses cricket for Worcestershire. 30 wickets in 40 matches. Economy's OK, that's what you expect in a 2020 spin bowler. Domestic spin in England has been ex exceptional, it's been the way to go. Wendell Simmons usually just tries to whack spin straight or over wide, mid-on, mid-off. Will he just take the runs on offer? Right, 
like that. There's plenty of gaps where you can hit and just take the singles. What do you think, Fazir? Because it, really, West Indies just need to take the runs. Take the singles, there's plenty of gaps. Or does a big shot come at this stage? It's about making a statement as well. And I suspect that we will see a few big shots. Because when they're on top, it, you, you want to send, send the message, as if Chris Gill were out there in the middle, we're watching him now, looking at the action. You want to, to win emphatically. You want to give the fans a lot to celebrate. Too short. Slow pitch, got to be fuller. More than most teams we see in international cricket, the West Indies certainly feel the vibe from the fans, as we say. You can feel the vibe the other way as well. If the wheels start coming off, the crowd will let you know. Absolutely, they can be really merciless. Another wide. Six wides now, extra over has to be bowled. Almost at parity. Good start from Batty, four runs from the over, it's 55 for two. So, seven overs gone. At this stage, England were 55 for one, West Indies are 55 for two, so not much in it. Sarwan, 26, he looks like to be the key man. Simmons just starting, four off seven. Starting up here, Ian Bishops with a man who's just about recovered from the toss, Tony Cozier. Thank you now, sir. Yeah, you were out there for the toss as well. 55 for two. First time I've ever come that close to a runner-up from this world who was out there for the toss. Now, seems to be a little bit of a disturbance in the crowd. Uh, the, um, security men are across there, a little bit of attention to what's happening in the stand. A big crowd here, would be uh, something in the vicinity of uh, 18,000 today. We will continue, that's beyond the boundary. And, uh, 67 needed from 78 deliveries. Now, Mascarene as it is, right on medium pace, will bow to Simmons. Scores level at this point, 55. And then the only last one that was at this point that England's uh, effort just uh, was undermined by some superb work by the West Indies, especially in the field. And we do the same thing. West Indies have uh, more deliveries than they need runs, so there's no point for them to, to panic at this stage. I think perhaps that's what Sarwan is telling Simmons. Brilliant. Collingwood, outstanding in that position, one of the best in the world at backward point. Keeps the pressure on. 
outstanding anywhere, really. We saw him snap up a very good catch in the test match. One or two of them. So a real asset to have in your team. Pressure. Four consecutive dot balls for Mascarenas. Test of temperament now of uh, Simmons. Keeper comes up to the wicket. Five dot balls from Mascarenas. Good start for him. The kind of bowling we saw from Darren Sammy. Very, very similar pace. Very similar variations. Sammy was the outstanding West Indies bowler. He and Ben. A smile on the face of uh, Strauss now. Oh, that's mistimed. Should get a second here to finish off the over. So just two runs for Mascarenas' first over. 57 for two at the end of it. You're more than a small business. You're blowing stuff up for fun. For 200,000 customers worldwide. With a team who keeps bringing you big ideas that you can't help but make even bigger. And now you need a smart marketing platform to help you reach more pools. But don't worry, we can help. MailChimp's creative tools, marketing automations, and recommendations all work together to help you create better results. MailChimp, built for growing businesses. When you have piles, toilet paper can feel rather rough. So try soothing and cleansing wipes from Anusol. Dom diddy dom diddy do. At LV, we understand that insurance is about looking after more than your car. It's about looking after you. That's why we pay out on 99% of claims. So you can get back to doing what you love the best. No wonder we're the Witch Awards Insurance Brand of the Year. LV, it's our heart that sets us apart. Go direct to LV.com. Cardo salmon, just £3.35, and our British broccoli, just 46p. Our easy peelers, only £1.35, and Hovis best of both, just £1. Our everyday savers bring great value to the table. There's an Ocado just for you. Finally, my confidence is back. Time to enjoy nights with family and friends again. Before, abdominal pain, cramps and bloating were a burden. Buscamint provides three-in-one relief with natural active ingredient. Buscamint, untie your stomach from abdominal discomfort. And if you suffer from IBS, try Buscapan IBS Relief, the UK's number one choice. Now we'll have a strike from Batty. Batty just four runs in his first over, so England have pulled the, the reins in here on the West Indies. Is there someone out there? Yes, there is. There are about 250 of them out there. Second six for Sawan. Very good play of slow bowling. We've seen it all the way through the test match. 
uses his feet quite nicely and hits with the spin. It's not the smallest ground here at the Queen's Park Oval, but that has gone over the fence. And in some way... Badly not getting support from his keeper on these leg before appeals. Judging from what I saw with Kevin Peterson, apparently you don't need to have the similarity of thought between bowler and keeper. And perhaps it's because what we saw with Kevin Peterson that he's appealing. Same umpire. Fifty-eight deliveries, fifty-eight runs from sixty-seven deliveries. So while Simmons has scored six or fourteen in the context of a twenty-twenty match, it may seem slow scoring because he's got some breathing space. There is no need to do anything silly. But he's on a tight rein here. Sixty-four for two. Okay. You'd say is that there's room. There's time, Sawan going well. We've got a gap of what? Eight deliveries. Which is a fair amount in this version of the game. So just keep going. The fluency will come. Mascarenas will continue top class over to begin with. Mascarenas, medium pace variations, just two runs off the last ball, five dot balls to begin with. Unconcerned. Field by the bowler. And they're putting Sal on to the test here. He was injured briefly earlier. Seemed to have taken up a blow behind the, the knee. Had to receive attention on the field. A quick single. This one also quick. Just home. Can uh, Simmons break free? Five, six or 15 deliveries. That's more of what he's been trying to do, hit the gaps, getting those singles and giving the man who's in, the man who's in form, Ramner Sawan, 34 from 22, more of a strike. It's been hard for him to find the gaps particularly against Mascarenas, whose variation and straight bowling caught, has caused him a few problems. Danger. Hold straight, Mascarenas. Tighten of the stumps, and he's got several variations of slower deliveries. You see them starting pitching outside the off stump, but the angle will take them back into the stumps largely. Nicely played. Thank you for wrist in the shot, no risk. So the West Indies up in that 2020 20 for 20 million match. And uh, Antigua, November the first, outstanding in the field. But I can't remember over a period of 20 overs, uh, West Indies being as sharp as they were today. Very delicate. That's very well played. We'll come back for a second. Simmons now just beginning to break free. Yeah, I think had it been a situation where the West Indies were batting first, he'd feel under significant pressure with 9 of 17, but because they have a fair idea of 
the target that they're chasing and there's a gap between balls to be bowled and runs slightly easier yeah you can see now he's just getting into a flow halfway there 70 for two 10 overs gone 10 overs to come Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites, hosting, domains. I own us. The way you slip and slide, the way you seek and hide, the way you shake your head, the way you run upstairs. UK's number one clinically proven joint supplement for dogs and their owners. So we really put our hearts and souls into making this place our own, you know. It's everything. It's home. <laughs> but it's just bricks and mortar at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, just bricks and mortar. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Just look at that frolicking space. Get searching now on Zoopla. Six runs off that Dimitri Mascarena sofa overcast conditions here at the Queen's Park Oval. England was 73 for three. Just in the 70 for two, but England fell away over the course of the last seven or eight overs. One twenty two is the target for the West Indies, so it's fifty two to win from sixty deliveries. England had the advantage as far as runs were concerned. You would have to say that at that stage it looked as if they could go on to a score of something in the region of 160, perhaps even more. They really fell away. Now Collingwood, similar to Mascarinas. Sixth bowling change of the inning so far. In 11 overs. Nice shot, nicely worked away, but just the one. That comparison Manhattan again, you see from around the 12th over England had probably just one big over. They lost, what, two, four, six wickets thereafter and happened because of that, didn't really get the sort of total that they would have anticipated. West Indies excelled. Dropping short. Just a little pace off the ball from Collingwood.
Yeah, that's clever. Shot which are uh, Trinidad and Tobago batsman in the 2020s used more than any other batsman in the regional competition. Just that little paddle. this time and will go all the way yeah brilliantly played Collingwood would have been thinking that I'm taking pace off the ball I need to get it fuller because Simmons had played a little reverse a little dab in fact the ball before this one is just a little bit closer to him so he's able to use the pace to a great extent and get it finer After an initial struggle, he's finding fluency because he didn't do anything silly when he was struggling. Ends the over. Eight runs off it, 78 for two, nine to go. That's over in the Trini Posse stand, the party stand, all inclusive. You pay um, a certain amount of money and everything is provided after that. Well, almost everything. She'll run out today for Mascarenas. Good piece of fielding. Just over the top, down towards deep mid wicket. Come back for a second. I feel that Mascarenas is such a key man for England in the 2020 variety, 50 overs as well. Big hitter of the ball. Good medium pace, good control, good variations. Now there's someone coming in, will he get there? And he's dropped it. Amjad, pressure, real pressure, he got there. That was a straightforward catch, the crowd loved it. Not him, he hates it. If there's such a thing as too much shine, then this was the occasion. He got there, he settled under it. Yeah, look at him settling there, and almost settled too casually. Let's have a look at this again. Look at how casual this was. He's taken it a little bit lower, maybe, than he would have felt comfortable. Really, at any level, Amjad Khan, too casual, too far in front, poor technique. Really deserving wicket for Mascarenas. Let down by his fielder. Been a good spell from him. This is his third over. Four overs limitation for each bowler, of course. Five off the over and a miscatch. 83 for two. Simply cook? Simply cook what though? Simply cook Japanese seared steak. Simply cook Cuban prawn pasta. Simply cook chicken makani. 
Just grab the flavour pots and add a few of your own fresh ingredients to cook incredible meals from scratch in just 20 minutes. Oh, what a triumph! Tonight, let's simply cook. There's a revolution happening. A different way to sell your home. All across the country, people are discovering how it feels when you sell your home for free. Really, truly free. With over a billion pounds of property sold in the last year, we're rated excellent from over 15,000 reviews on Trustpilot. Find out how you can sell your home for free at strike.co.uk. Strike. Feel free. Welcome to Pure Gym. Everybody welcome at Pure Gym, the UK's favourite gym. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. That's what I told my son. He's never been one for uni. The great outdoors is more his thing. So when I started saving, I spoke to Skipton Building Society. Their support helped get my money in a good place. So I had enough to help him be his own boss. Eight overs remain. Six bowlers used, and this is now the seventh bowling change. And 13 overs, 12 gone. That's six wides in the innings, which uh, really England can't afford, any team can't afford in 20 overs. Just slightly like mistimed the dive, Collingwood. Come back for a second. He's had 12 wides in their innings, but uh, that was compounded by the fact that two of them went for four buys, counters wides. <laughs> Typical Sawan shot, getting back and back cutting, as they say in Australia. One of the reasons, folks, that he's so difficult to bowl to as a slow bowler is one nimble footwork. Backs away, gives himself a little bit of room with a, a nice little jump at the important moment, the critical moment, but his wrist work hardly ever plays with just a square-on face of the bat. Always looking to manipulate the bat face to the offside, opening it, closing it, leg side, even if the ball is straight. Coming down, not to the pitch now, and just pushing it. Gave himself two options there. Could have got under it and lifted it, but he wasn't quite there, just a push. Partnership now 43 from 46 deliveries. A swing by Simmons, not quite to the pitch. And that's the difference with himself and Sawan. Sawan wasn't quite there and pushed with a single. He still went through with a shot. Got the one for it, 89 for two off 13.
It's a big crowd and the biggest we've seen at the Queen's Park over for many years. In the context of Test cricket, it was a good crowd as well during the Test match, something in the region between 8 and 10,000, and that's pretty good as far as Test cricket in the Caribbean is concerned these days, but something now 18, between 18 and 20,000 perhaps here today. Here's Mascarenas now, the Simmons. Yeah, I was drawing that comparison about Sawan's footwork, but more importantly, the manipulation of the face of the bat in this type of cricket. I'll draw an example of someone who I feel is the opposite, Darren Ganga, meets the ball with a, a full face of the bat and doesn't really manipulate the bat face enough in one-day cricket. Such an important skill to turn a good ball into a single either side of the pitch. Sawan does that brilliantly. Nicely played, use of the wrist again, works the ball away for a single, knows that it's enough. Bad ball will come around, could put that away, but just uh, finding gaps in the field. Mascarenhas now comes up with his last delivery. He's had his uh, four overs after this one. He's both three overs and five balls. Just 16 runs have come from him. Had Sawan drop. Dolly in the outfield. Might just have uh, been significant. Here he is now with his last delivery. Mascarenhas ends. Four overs. None for 17. The West Indies are 93 for two from 14 overs, chasing 122. Five minutes of peaceful bliss before the morning mayhem. Four very long meetings with a short break in between. Three cheers for lunchtime and two hurried buys. Luckily, to help lower cholesterol with plant stannels, you need just one Benacol yogurt drink or yogurt a day. As simple as that, Benacol. This is the motorway way to sell your car. The sell your car from home way. The car dealer's bid to give you the best price way. The you could get up to £1,000 more way. The your car gets picked up from home for free way. This is the way to sell your car. This is the motorway. When you have piles, toilet paper can feel rather rough. So try soothing and cleansing wipes from Anusol. Cardo salmon, just £3.35, and our British broccoli, just 46p. Our easy peelers, only £1.35, and Hovis best of both, just £1. Our everyday savers bring great value to the table. There's an Ocado just for you. Unlike most costs, you may find your car insurance premium is lower than last year. But I'm telling you, there's more savings out there if you shop around. And there's the free £250 excess cover each time you switch with... Go Mamma mia! Recompare! Oh, recompare! It's time to recompare with Go Compare! 
to tell all your friends and family. Level pegging just about as far as the runs are concerned. The essential difference is the number of wickets. Westerners have lost two England at this stage, would have lost five. Never recovered. Stroke boards back, and so are David Lloyd and Nasser Hussein. Thanks, Tony. All West Indies so far. So I won 48 from 39 deliveries, two fours, two sixes. And Simmons just with 20 from 27. Looks in good touch. So I won. Had an injury square, but uh, he came through that and he's got 50. Yeah, some more for the crowd to cheer, really. Waited long. 50 or 40 deliveries, two fours, two sixes, dropped by Amjad Khan. He's continued his fine form from the Test Match Series. He had a chance, but he's played very well. Absolute goober to Amjad Khan. 50 from 40, two fours, two sixes, strike rate, 125. Well, he's 125 runs per 100 balls, he's going well. Partnership is 50 from 55. It's all West Indies here. That's the thing about chasing a low score at this stage. England were 98 for five, so head on runs, but West Indies can just stroll at their own pace. Someone like Lendl Simmons, who's got 20 off 27, doesn't need to panic. He would have panicked by now batting first, as some of the England batsmen did, but when chasing, all the worry now is going to be on the England captain. How does he get a wicket? He needs wickets, he needs something brilliant. Needs a miracle, there's a four. Down to third man, it's a slog, it's a swipe, gone for four. Well, he deserves this, so when you're in form, these things go your way. When you're out of nick, this would have gone straight up in the air. Fine edge, third man's wide, four more. They had one half century before this saw one that's his highest score in any 2020 cricket charges and gives himself room offside this is another boundary he's gone for four he loves the offside broad not happy with Bopara at short extra cover a few words exchanged between broad and Bopara Bottom line, another boundary. Pace on the ball has disappeared. Bopara doesn't think he's done anything wrong. Yeah, they're getting sharp without each other out there. Stuart Broad thinks that uh, Rabbi Bopara should have stopped this. Bopara has just given him a blank. Slow delivery. Again, slower delivery, that has been the key, take pace off the ball. Let's have a look at that fielding again. Well, it was quite wide of Bopara, to be fair. Broad wouldn't have seen that on the angle. He's just got carried away with the emotions, crowd cheering. Bopara has felt fairly calm about it. Yeah, he got a lash from Stuart Broad. There it goes. He's blanked him. Bounce a big appeal, and certainly not out, given wide. <laughs> well, we've seen this from Broad in the test matches. He got in trouble with Daryl Harper, he's got to get to the end of his mark. Was there a bit of glove or bat on it? No, I don't think so. 
over the batsman's head will be signalled a wide. Nothing from the keeper. The keeper's got a great view and would see and hear a nick. Broadfield's hard done by, but it's a wide. Just a single to end the 15th over. West Indies 105 for two. Second 2020 50 for Ramnaresh Sarwan, predominantly offside. Loves room over extra cover, very much an into out player. That was a massive hit off Anderson straight down the ground. And there was one off the off spin at this time, leg side hitting with the spin. There's been no slogging in that innings. 59 off 45 deliveries. Look at the difference there, Bumble, between the quicker men and the men that have taken pace off the ball. Batty, spinner, 5.67 runs per over. Mascarenas, medium pacer, 4.25. Now look at the faster men. The faster you bowl, the more runs you go. I think England have misread the conditions. You look at that pitch, it says two spinners for you. What Adil Rashid has been around, he's got to play on a pitch like this. Cracked and dry, not a quick pitch. 70-yard boundary as well. As Anjad Khan gets one, looking to finish it early. England have taken another wicket. Well, I said earlier, hasn't slogged. That's the first one he's had a slog at. Lost his shape. Very disappointing from Sal, and he wanted to fin finish it in a hurry. Straight hitting, middle and leg. And to be honest, it was a big slog from a man who's played better than that. 59. In 46 deliveries, 105 for three, West Indies. Seventeen from twenty-nine required, but only three wickets down West Indies. Everybody gets a cheer, not least this guy. Dwayne Bravo comes back into West Indies team. He's been out of the team for eight months. Ankle surgery. This is his home ground. Oh, he's got his own fan club. Dwayne Bravo comes in. Got a real cheer. He's the man. <laughs> Nine fours, two sixes, 105 for three. West Indies require 17 from 29 deliveries. Bravo to take strike. Good strike rate, a best of 64. He went out after the test match during the presentation of the test match and batted on the square. Had a few throwdowns on the square. He's been out of the game for a long while. And Strauss needs wickets, so a slip will come in. We need to do something very, very special, England. Sarwan's just given him a, a slight chance. chance all around the ground probably about 19,000 in Sarwan had played beautifully real strong innings 59 from 46 heave looking to go out of the ground gone middle and leg yeah the head gives it away watch the head position his head has been so still before and on that occasion he just lifted it up trying to hit it too hard one for 19 and Judd Khan Given us a wide. Now, was that on height or down the leg side? A little bit unfair for the bowler. Everything in 2020 seems geared towards the batsman. Should they be allowed a bouncer? Not down the leg side when it goes past the batsman, so it could be on height. What do you reckon, umpire David Lloyd? Height, I would say. I think the last shot showed it. Umpire's got to make a split decision. These are inexperienced international umpires. The 
good lines from Khan. Got a slip in there, just 16 from 27. Interesting to hear the interviews after the game, Andrew Strauss. I should think he'll feel embarrassed by the performance. Old-fashioned northern term, England have done out. Side, it comes off pad. England 121 all out in the 20th over, didn't last 20 overs. I mentioned it will be an embarrassment to them. The next match is on Friday, one day international start next. Just one 2020 game. Nothing to shout about from England. 121 all out. Davies top score. 27. Spin of Ben was a problem. Three for 24. Sammy, one for 14. Intelligent bowling. But if you're a West Indies spectator, it's been great fun at the ground. A fabulous scene. Party time, real party time. Port of Spain. Trinidad, there's a Trini posse stand. Pay your entrance fee, and in you go. Have a good time. Everything free. And they're watching Bravo have a net at the moment. Four deliveries, he's left one, he's got in behind the line of the other three. No one saving single on the leg side, so Strauss wants to bowl to Bravo. Gets runs here. Perfect placement, brings four. 110 for three, 12 needed. Oh, what a shame, what a poor last delivery after a good over. Six deliveries with the wide, and then just when you wanted a bit of pressure, a leg stump half volley to a man who hasn't batted in international cricket for eight, nine months. Just what he wanted to get away. Disappointing from Calm, last delivery for... Nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings, websites hosting domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy jumpers. Websites hosting domains. I own us. Yeah, we love it here. <laughs> Don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, we get on really well with the Thompsons next door. They're friends for life. Sorry, guys. Have you seen that? <laughs> Having said that, they're pretty annoying, really. What? Nothing. Ready to move on? Then find the place you really want on Zoopla. Oh, horses for neighbours. Get searching now on Zoopla. Oh, what a day. What's this? Simply cook? Simply cook what, though? Simply cook Japanese seared steak. Simply cook Cuban prawn pasta. Simply cook chicken makani. Just grab the flavour pots and add a few of your own fresh ingredients to cook incredible meals from scratch in just 20 minutes. Oh, what a triumph. Tonight, let's simply cook. I have been in a car accident. My car has flipped and there's water getting in the car. Can you get out, ma'am? No. Are you by yourself? Yes. It's getting deeper. It's getting deeper? It's getting to my neck. Try to keep your head above water, okay? Okay. There's people on the way to you. Thank you. Suarez is away from Diakabi and Suarez can put the Mintinish, Gavish Dubby's the first shot. Chris 
Anderson with the shot. Sam, what a finish! What a strike from Hugo Duro. Atletico versus Valencia. Live Saturday on La Liga TV. Visit PremierSports.com to subscribe. I want the ball. Rodriguez trying to break down Miracic. Shot down! The three! Miracic. Oh, what a play! Oh, he makes an incredible bounce pass to Booker. Are you kidding me? What a play! EuroLeague Basketball, live every week on Free Sports. Welcome to the Scottish Cup, where a single moment can create unrivaled history. It's in! It is unbelievable! This is why we love her. Live this weekend on Premier Sports. Visit premiersports.com to subscribe. Just 12 required then with seven wickets remaining. Well, they've had a ball inside the ground. Great anticipation before the game. Predominantly the West Indies crowd. Well, it really has been party time. Real noise at the venue at the stadium. West Indies, you have to say, they've responded. Fielded brilliantly when England batted. Jimmy Anderson back for his third over, two overs, one for 17 in his first effort. Just wonder what the bowlers think, Nasser, as well, with 121 on the board as a bowling unit. You think that's absolutely nowhere near. Yeah, and in general, they can say that, but I think today. Bumble, I think they'll be honest. I don't think they've particularly bowled well, fielded well. There's been a drop catch and batted abysmally. So I don't think the bowlers can go in saying, well, we keep getting 120, we keep getting bowled out. I think early on they bowled too straight. I think even the selectors have just not read conditions well. The think tank of playing the faster men on here. West Indies have red conditions where all their medium paces, Sammy, Baker, just taking pace off the ball. Bravo, Pollard. Now England have hardly well, they have not bowled. Yeah. Bopara. Collingwood should have bowled out four overs. Clatter there for the quicker bowlers. Collingwood just with that one over. And the lesson was there in the first half of this game. The West Indies bowling figures. Pace off the ball. Darren Sammy. Baker. Ben. Pollard. Yes, they all bowl well and they were very well backed up in the field. And England, I felt, aimed too high yet again. 150 would have been enough. Lots of things for England to think about, the batting effort. What stands out in my mind is just the movement at the crease all over the place too early. Get yourselves in, play proper shots, and then start looking to improvise. And 150, I would say, is competitive. Both openers were out backing away to leg and exposing the stumps. Rattled. They're absolutely rattled England out there in the field. They're arguing with each other. Yeah, not happy. Anderson on that occasion, not happy with Shah in the deep. Crow came in on about three bounces and he got a stare from Anderson. Not what you need as a bowler. Look at that. Look at that. Nine to win, 19 deliveries left. It's 113 for three. 
wickets falling at 11, 45 and 105, so England unable to exert any real pressure. I suppose it's different when you're not playing, Flint off there, convalescing, Steve Harmison not selected, Matt Pryor not selected. Fact remains that England do struggle at 2020. Wicket's a big problem. West Indies only three down. All eyes on the umpire, is that a wide? Yes, it is. Well, it's not sensible bowling because Khan must know that these umpires, anything that's been a bounce or a short, whether it be marginal or not, have called a wide. And that does look like a wide for me, so... If he's going to go halfway and he knows he's got to get it absolutely spot on, otherwise it's going to be signalled. Well, the wide for me is a shocking delivery. Just not the sort of delivery for this pitch. Just one 2020 game, and then it's five one-day internationals. And start next Friday at Guyana. Friday and Sunday in Guyana, then there are two in Barbados, last one at St Lucia. Should be two here. spoke to Andy Flower before this game started, saying how important this game was. Well, they've got five one-day internationals to get something from this tour. Beaten in the Test Match Series, beaten in this 2020. There's a lot to do. Appeal might be an inside edge. Bravo still looks due to stay out of Nick. He hasn't spent much time in the middle. Was it two pads? The two different noises are an inside edge. She asked a faint inside edge. This is all doing Bravo some good, just spending some time in the middle. He's played two club cricket matches prior to this. He scored centuries in each, a 2020 game and a one day. The runs here shouldn't be four. Mascarenas retrieves and they settle for two. Bravo wanting to finish it in style. Just three needed. A lot of fielders have come up. <coughs> Six men inside the circle. Seven now. Strauss saying, right, if you want to finish it, you're going to have to go aerial. Well, 14 deliveries are left. This is a drubbing, 2020 terms. A real comfortable victory for West Indies. Pulled away and gone. Caught at square leg, looking for that big shot. Bravo's gone. Kevin Peterson, square leg. Bravo wanting to finish it with a boundary, banged in again. Khan, the toe end of the bat. Comfortable catch for Peterson. So Bravo goes for eight in 11 deliveries. It's 119 for four. Three needed. Just like to have finished it there and then, Dwayne Bravo, but just finds Kevin Peterson at square leg, but it's all over by the shouting. Three to win from 13 deliveries. New batsman is Pollard. Simmons is still there, he's had a net out there. Lendl Simmons, just 23 from 32 deliveries, he's watched runs come from the other end. It's 
coming to the end of the 18th over. Calm now. This is his last delivery. End his fourth over, two for 30. <laughs> 21 years of age, Kyron Pollard. That strike rate, 167.2, best of 83. Looks like he gives it a smack. One smack will do. This is Amjad Khan's last delivery. Pulled away, that's the end of the game. Get him in, I'll be there shortly. West Indies have blazed away, they've blitzed England, they beat them with the ball, they've beaten him in the field, they've beaten them with the bat. Game finishes at the end of the 18th over, England 121, West Indies have rattled away, 123 for four. So England still to win an international game all winter. They continue to struggle in 2020 cricket, not enough flair, not enough sixes. The West Indies, without their captain, Chris Gale, wins the 2020 international. He'll be back for the next game. England with plenty of work to do. Yeah, I like what you say, not enough flair, not enough nous. Young West Indies team, they fielded brilliantly. They set the tone in the field, intelligent bowling. Talk about Chris Gale not playing, the captain rammed in in his first game as wicketkeeper batsman has seen England off. 59 for Sarwan. Major inning, Simmons just had a net, 23 from 32. Kyron Pollard just finished things off. England bowlers struggled, they were too straight with a new ball, lots of wides, Anderson one for 19, Broad one for 26, Khan got a couple of wickets but he was expensive. Spin was the key, Batty didn't bowl out, surprise, three overs for 17. Mascarenas, very, very straight, very economical, four overs for 17, just the one over for Paul Collingwood. So this one and only Digicel 2020 game has gone to the West Indies. England were invited to bat first. They struggled along for 121. Debutant Stephen Davies with 27. Suleiman Ben. Left arm spin with three for 24. Darren Sammy taking the pace off one for 14. England didn't last 20 overs. West Indies in reply, just got on with the business. Sarwan with 59, Simmons 23 not out. 123 for four in 18 overs. West Indies win by six wickets, 12 deliveries left. Highlights of the West Indies chase. Some really good stroke play at the top of the innings. England's quicker bowlers were lifted over the top. First wicket is well caught out in the deep by Mascarenas. But runs continue to flow. Slow deliveries from Amjad Khan and Ramner Sawa favours the offside, whacks the ball over the offside. Chanda Paul works the ball away as he does. And some big sixes as well, two sixes in this West Indies innings. Chandler Paul lofts one in the air and that's the end of him, Collingwood the catcher. But wickets were few and far between. Big six there from Sarwan against Batty. England really never came to terms, never took wickets. West Indies were on top all the time. The odd fumble, Amjad Khan, when Sarwan was 38. Sarwan went on to his second 50 in 2020 cricket. Everyone's a winner at this stage. Sarwan went on to make 59 until he was cleaned up by Amjad Khan. Dwayne Bravo gets his first game in eight months before he was caught by Kevin Peterson. But the game was all over. 
Aaron Pollard just finished proceedings. Comprehensive victory. Full house here at Trinidad West Indies have won by six wickets with 12 balls to spare. They've blown England away. Here's something I bet you didn't know. Not all supplements are created equal. At Healthspan, our omega-3 oil is sustainably sourced from the South Pacific Ocean. We find our turmeric on the southern slopes of India. And our cod liver oil comes from the cold, crisp seas of Greenland. We work hard to seek out the best ingredients for all our supplements, because that's the Healthspan way. We're healthspan.co.uk. Vitamins and supplements in store or direct to your door. Don't tell me this is all for nothing I can only tell you one thing On the nights you feel outnumbered All right, everyone, wake up, wake up. Quaker oats feed more than your body. They feed the fire inside. Quaker. you have the power to change the world or just change the size of Beryl's nose. <laughs> Even laughing with a mate needs 99% UK coverage. Three, life needs a big network. At the Bank of Anton Dec's new HQ, Dex had a big idea that he reckons will open doors for the banking supremos. So, I've been testing ways to make our customers feel better about the household bills. Keep talking. Customer's door, customer's bill. OK. Bills were better. Meanwhile, Santander actually helps customers feel better about household bills by giving cash back every single month with their 123 current accounts. Roughly 70 million trees. That's the equivalent in CO2 savings that Britain could make if everyone got a smart meter. Hello, little friend. Search Get a Smart Meter today. When you have piles, toilet paper can feel rather rough. So try soothing and cleansing wipes from Anusol. Imagine your favourite Disney characters together in one place. Each week receive high-quality miniature parts and figurines to create a beautiful Disney doll's house, where every room is inspired by timeless Disney classics. With detailed instructions and video tutorials, you can bring the Disney universe home. Disney Doll's House, issue 1, one ninety nine. Welcome to the Scottish Cup, where a single moment can create unrivaled history. It's in! This weekend on Premier Sports. Visit premiersports.com to subscribe. I want the ball. Rodriguez trying to bring down Miracic. Shot The three. Miracic. Oh, what a play. He makes an incredible bounce pass to Booker. Are you kidding me? What a play. EuroLeague Basketball. Live every week on Free Sports. Suarez is away from Diakabi, and Suarez can put them in finish. Get his dummies the first shot. Griezmann with the shot. Sam, what a finish! What a strike from Hugo Duro. Let's go versus Valencia. Live Saturday on La Liga TV. Visit premiersports.com to subscribe. A warm welcome from Marseille to the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2018. The 12 best logger sports athletes in the world are meeting in southern France to determine the champion in the toughest timber sports competition there is. It's a dual format, man against man. 
and it's all about this trophy today. One of the athletes will take it home with them. As always, the Champions Trophy is taking place at an extraordinary location. This year, athletes will demonstrate their skills with axe and saw in the second largest city in France. Located right on the Mediterranean Sea, Marseille and its old port is the perfect spot to determine who is the toughest timber sports athlete. Uh, Marseille has to be one of the most